Okay, there we go. Hello, hello. There. There we go. Was it SpongeBob music just now? I mean, I can put on the SpongeBob music if you want to hold up. We can do that first. Anyway, yes, I'm all. I'm. I'm always very well prepared when I start streaming. Definitely did not uh, forget to take out my SD card so I didn't have access to my uh, USB. To my USB uh, drive for my uh, microphone. Whoops. Um, one sec. And now we need to pull up the V2. Oh yeah, shit. I also have to do Twitch. I am so insanely well prepared. You you un you underestimate me. We almost have a double euro line. Oh, we do. Um, fuck, what was I gonna do? Oh, yes. Boot up. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, uh, oh yeah, fuck. Uh, and Twitch, because Twitch probably still says it's an art stream, and it's not... My Uro couldn't sit down. I mean, you're supposed to just hold Z and then, uh... Yeah, I'm not- I'm not drawing and I'm not chilling. We're playing Tuki. Playing some Yume, Tuki, and chilling. Tuki. There we go, save, done. Yes, okay, now I think I've taken care of everything. There we go. The avatar setup is cursed. Yeah, I get like when you first <laughs> pull up. I also need to adjust this here. Uh... There we go. Do the thing with the thing, please. Yeah, I get like when you first launch the software, it just <laughs> it, uh, it 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 does that. It, like everything just like flies in. What are you listening to? Uh, check check the top uh, top left corner. How, how big can you make the avatar, by the way? Uh, hold up. Uh, as lo I guess as large as this, which I can st stretch the across the entire screen if you guys prefer that. Hell yeah. See? Only Yunari. No, uh, no Tuki. Only Yunari. Uh... Uh, fuck no, I forgot how big I made my avatar. Uh, something like this? this? This should do. This is fine. Oops, this is maybe a bit too big. Fuck. Small. Be small. There we go. Small. Anyway, there we go. Tiny, very tiny. No time for Tuki, Yunari time. Extreme close up, yeah. You have you ever drawn lane before? No, I haven't. I've never made any lane fan art before. I could. I've also been meaning to draw some Mushishi fan art at some point. Maybe also make that into merch, maybe. Ooh, this song, I need to add this to my favorites. I really like this one. Have you ever drawn Meh? Before. You mean me, or is this referring to like the meh character from uh, the fan game? Oh, your new profile picture is pretty. Thank you! Again, finally decided to draw a new 
Yunari artwork for the first time in forever, because I think the one that I've been currently using, uh, the artwork I think I've, I made back in 22? 21? Question mark? So yeah, could use an update. Anyway, I, I have tea. I got my tea. But yeah, we, we pretty much have a double Uro line, damn. Twenty twenty one was three years ago, let us sink in. Nah, it's twenty twenty one is like in a year from now, dude. Like that's that's not till next year. Where are we going today? We are going to Oh, the dailies are not in Tuki. I guess the weekly we can do. Vending machine Oh, this is in Snowy Village. Uh, so I guess the weekly, and then the vending machine, then maybe some wallpapers, if people want. And then after that we can uh, go vibe somewhere. Ch Chainlink lead without wiki and without maps. Oh, nice. What about Pleasure Street, the new world? Wait, there's a new world? Again, there's so many new- so much new shit I still haven't seen yet. Can I join you? Uh, please be patient, I'm not good at puzzles. Eh, uh, for the weekly! That's- ugh, I, I, I even forgot how to get to chain link, please. I have enough for you. Uh, and either way, like, uh, let's uh, give it like a, a few more minutes, like maybe uh, one or two more songs, and then we can get going. Let's decide where to go for vibing. If people have suggestions or insist on vibing in a particular spot, please feel free to let me know where, and uh, yes, we can decide on something. Probably not participating in the stream until chilling. That's okay, no worries. Uro to Uro communication. True. Anyway, uh, hope you're all doing okay. Uh. This, this fine evening, this fine afternoon, wherever it is. Oh, this is Denton Dancing. This is a nice number, too. This is a popular Eurobeat song, so I'm pretty sure people here will, will know it, even if you're not super familiar with uh, Eurobeat. Hi there, how are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. Just felt like uh, doing some more Tuki streaming today. Hey, how do you motivate you to, uh, yourself to do things you don't want to do? Uh, depends on what the thing is that you feel like needs to get done. If it's like something that has like a deadline or something, uh, I guess the way to just think about it is... Uh, once I have this done, I am free to do whatever the fuck else I want to do. And I no longer feel this like dread and burden and whatever. Like if I get it out of the way now, then I'm, I'm done with it and I don't have to worry about it because... Otherwise you might feel still like some sort of pressure and you have trouble even like enjoying activities because you know something still has to be done. But if it's just like an activity that doesn't necessarily have a deadline, you don't necessarily have to do it, then I guess don't pressure yourself too much. Like forcing yourself to do things that aren't really all that necessary. Again, it really depends from situation to situation. Oh. 
Wait, want me to show you the new uh, thing in Candle World, you know? It requires marginal effect. Uh, sure, again, if there's new shit, I'd love to check it out. Guys, okay, vote for Dark Cheese. No, we're not going to Dark Cheese, hell, fuck that. Critter are calling. Critter- <gasps> the Critter Village is cute! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay, Cr Critter Village. Yes, okay, that, that, that's so cute. I love that place. What the cheese do to you? Too much cheese. Maybe that's like maybe some people may find it a heresy because I'm uh, I'm Dutch, but too much cheese. I, I I also vote for Critter Village. Yo, turn this off. Sorry, I had to quickly mute desktop audio because I forgot to turn off my fucking bell sound. Whoopsie. Okay, now it's off. There. Ding. Again, like, <laughs> like the ding is followed up by a, a loud gong sound, so I, I made sure to, like, mute it before that happened because you guys would otherwise go deaf. I always want to go to Critter Village, but the FC uh, stuff uh, almost wants to break my fingers. Ah, fair, fair, fair. Uh, anyway, uh, yes. Uh, how about we do the weekly first, then we do vending machine, then we'll see how much time all of that takes, and maybe then do wallpapers if we still want to fill some time, and then we go vibing Critter Village. I think that's a good plan. We should get mass before we go uh, do ex expedition. You want to do expeditions with mass, but that, that's gonna take forever. Again, I'd say one, before we do chilling, we'll we'll get some masks. Yeah, yeah. All right. In that case, sorry, Eurobeat. Uh, you will have to uh, shut the fuck up uh, for a bit. Anyway, off to uh, do the weekly. Let us go. Let's -a go. You. You can't bring mask to. Ah, oh, boo. Yeah, fair. Anyway, anybody who knows the way to chain link leads for the weekly, please guide. I'll head to Crater Village and wait there. Sure, sure. Anyway. Oh yes, we have Nani Manai with us. Nani Manai, show us the way to chain link. Uh, whatever. Or somebody else. I do not mind. Okay, well, everybody's going here, so s yes. Rip to anybody who doesn't have the shortcuts. <laughs> Sorry, people who don't have the shortcut. Again, you can wait in the Nexus if you don't have the shortcut, because we'll uh, we'll do the we'll do the vending machine next. Damn, I'm awaiting Ruined Garden. Sure, sure. The Vendi isn't something dwelling. Oh, I thought it was in Snowy Village. It is. Aha. Yeah, we, we start out with like a group of like 20 people and then like 
<laughs> halfway... Like, as soon as we use one shortcut, like, the, the group is cut down to, like, ten folk. <laughs> Have you ever... Uh, done judo? I think I've only, like, done some, like, judo things, like, back in, like, high school. Because occasionally you'd have, like, judo classes, like, introductionary classes. Things like that. But beyond that, nah. Never, like, as a proper... proper sport for anything. Are we waiting in Toy World? Sure, sure. You've done judo so you can throw people? Ah, eh, not really. <laughs> Again, it's more like the introductionary course thing. Blim, blim, blim. Who that? Email. The song, the beating is live. By the back door, get up tonight. Bring up your mind, don't bring it on. Soon the night is gone, baby. No way to hide, you'll find the answer. Dancing, you wanna do a lot of splashing. Do -do 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 Dancing, vibing in the water in my boat. Long as transition, yeah. Again, Rio worlds be like longest transition time ever. Speed run, 100%. Uh, slow as shit. Oh God, we're really zooming ahead. Hey, new badge! Hey, nice. We're really zooming. I hope everybody can keep up. Uh, Dutch gym class where you get one mediocre lesson and everything. True, true. Again, I know like in high school you usually have like, um, blocks essentially, like session blocks where like you'll cover like a singular sport for like an X amount of weeks and then like you, uh, you practice some techniques and then at the very end you, you have to like do things for like a grade or whatever, but I, we never really had judo as part of that subject block. Oh my god, we're still- how many people do we- okay. And then there were five. <laughs> And then we start with 20, then we're down to 10, and now we're down to 5. Oh. Two key moments. Two key exploration moments. Two key stream moments. I hate Vintage Village. Oh, Vintage Village is nice. It, it's okay. But again, like, it is, it is hellscape to navigate. Wait for people to catch up. Yeah, how about we wait here for a bit till everybody's here? Let, let's wait, because there, I'm sure there's more people coming. Uh, it, it's just that, like, everybody uh, is lagging behind. So, in the meantime, I shall sip some of my tea and then um, we shall wait. If people are stuck, by the way... Uh, if, the, if they're lost, just give a shout in uh, the live chat. Maybe one of uh, the people here can come fetch. What kind of tea? Um, this is a uh, fig-flavored oolong tea, which is very nice. Thanks, Lord Yunari. You're very welcome. Also, yo, I got the NPC in that alleyway. I think it's determined by chance or variable. Oh, cool! I didn't know you could get, like, uh... NPC there. Yummy, I like green tea and, uh, Camille. Green tea in general is nice. Then again, I, I, I like black tea, I like green tea, I like oolong tea. 
Uh, I don't like herbal teas, though. Like, I've tried herbal teas, or at least I've, I've smelled them. Holy fuck, they're, they reek. You ever- you guys ever smelled gunpowder tea before? Holy fuck. It makes you- Oh, might as well, like, huff an ashtray. Like, similar sense- <laughs> similar smell. What tea? Gunpowder- yeah, it's called gunpowder, but I think it's like a specific herb or whatever. I don't know exactly what it's made of, but it, it's not actual gunpowder, but it does- it smells like ashtray. Oh, also, I've never tried this tea, but I've seen them like on websites and it just piques my interest. You guys ever heard of um, dragon pearl tea? They're like, it's like a type of black tea and they come in like these orb shaped balls of like, I guess, tea leaves or something. But they look just like bunny poop. And I'm <laughs> whenever I, I scroll on like a, a tea listing website and I, I'm looking for nice flavors to try out, I always see like, the dragon pearl tea things, like the black tea. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's the bunny dropping. Uh, that's the bunny poop tea. I gotta look them up. I think they're called dragon pearls. Anywho. Well, is it good? I have no clue. I've never bought it because it's mega, mega fucking expensive. Like, I think for like a, a small, small little baggie of like dragon pearl uh, tea, I think it's like what, 12, 13 euro? We have anyone, everybody here? Are we all here? Can we continue? I think everybody should be here now. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. We shall continue. It is love, it is love, and there is a side error, yay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Literally for every fucking situation I can just think of a Eurobeat song, like lyric, a Eurobeat lyric that I'm like, oh yeah, this applies to this situation. My brain is broken. Anyway, um... Oh, fuck. Help! We are lost. Uh, here? And then here. Oops. Here? Here. Yes. And then you have to touch the thing and then go and come back down and then... I mean, I got- I, I did time trials. Ah, fair, fair, fair. I've never tried any of the time trials because I can't be bothered. Because Tuki is not meant to be speedrun. I like my Tuki vibes, Tuki chill. Time trials? Yeah, there's like certain like routes within Tuki to like certain dream worlds, specifically like dream worlds that are like very deep inside of the game. Like you can speed run them essentially and try and get like time records for them. And like if you manage to get, if you manage to uh, beat that, 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 uh, that time like in a particular like record thing that you get like a medal for it next to your username and shit. Wow, and we're here. A click error by by error.
Longest transition. <laughs> Again, real worlds. Real worlds are always... They, they take forever to transition. I'm lost again. No! Where are you? We are... Uh, I, I'm following uh, Cross. Everybody's lost. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, we shall wait at the end of this world for everybody. And then uh, we shall continue. We are currently zooming through uh, Abandoned Dreadnought. Is Dreadnought even like a real word, by the way? Like, th does that actually mean something? Or is it just like a made up, like, made up fantasy word? It's kind of a large battleship. Oh! Is it like a type of battleship, or...? It's a gigantic ship. Ah. Okay, does this go to the next world already? Navy ship. Oh! So if a, sh if a navy ship is very big, then you call it a dreadnought. Or is it just the name of, like, a navy ship? Like a particular ship, like the Titanic. Uh, which way? Which way, wise man? This way. Which, which way, western man? I think it's a class of ship. Oh! See, I don't know anything about ship classes. I'm just like, yes, boat, boat, big boat, very big boat, large boat, giant boat, enormous boat. Jeez, how long is this world? Every time we get to like a ladder section, I'm like, ah, we, we're almost here. And then like, oh no, never mind, we still get a section after that. You people are speed running this place, true. Oh, and now we're here. Okay, never mind. Okay, I didn't know that this was like already. Okay, that's chain link leads. Okay, let us wait. Um. I, I think there was a bench down here, so I'm gonna... I'll be nice, and I will come chill at the bench. Yay. I shall wait here for everybody else. Meanwhile, the, re the, the other two have gone ahead, and they're probably are gonna speedrun <laughs> up till like, the entire thing. Thank you, Lord. You know I have wearing mercy on my keyword. You're very welcome. I don't know if the other two are coming back, but... <laughs> okay, they are. Yes. Yay. Again, there's another bench, like, to the left. Yeah, unfortunately, like, Rio is, is dumb, so he only made it that one person can sit on a bench. Underwater boat. <gasps> True! Underwater boat. <gasps> oh my god. So, uh... A rocket, like a space rocket, is like a, it's a it's a space boat. <gasps> yay! There, there is, a, there's everyone. Yay! Yay! Okay, yes. Anyway, we're almost here, guys. Yay! 
Hey, welcome to Chainlink, uh, Chainlink Lee's. Uh, let's see, is there anything interesting at the end of uh, this uh, funny passage? How about Earth Boat? Is that like a digging machine or whatever? Ooh. Boat. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't really feel like going all the way to the depths of like, or like the, the last, uh, world from here, so... I would say, uh, let's do... A uh, vending machine next. So let's let us return to uh, the Nexus. Okay, next up, a uh, snowy village. Snowy village. Uh, isn't that best from like uh, the library? Probably the library, right? Sorry, people who do not have the shortcuts. <laughs> ah. Or I believe I have the shortcut, that is. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Shit. Okay, there. Yes. Ripperoni for people who don't have the shortcuts. <laughs> See, this is why, uh, like, if you if you're if you're a new two key player or you don't have all the shortcuts, then uh, you're probably not having gonna, gonna have a good time with like the weekly and the the vending machine expeditions because we're like zoom. Again, I never know how to fucking navigate back to uh, Snowy Village from here. Again, so once we uh, we've done the vending machine, I will have a look for like the wallpapers, which ones I'm still missing, and then we can go do some wallpaper hunting. Oh no, actually, first, first, I want to see the new worlds. I, I first want to see new uh, new Tuki worlds, so people can do that like after we're done with the vending machine, please. That'd be very nice. Do you like coffee or tea? Um, I really like tea. I also I like the flavor of coffee. I do not like caffeine though. <laughs> So if I drink coffee, it's literally like m m majority of it being milk and sugar and then like a tiny bit of uh, coffee. That's the best type of coffee. Plain a skyboat. <gasps> True. Decaf then? Yeah, like decaf uh, stuff is nice. Though again, like not as in like proper like coffee coffee, more just like, ah yes, let me... Especially like iced macchiato, because again like macchiato is like primarily milk and sugar and then like a tiny bit of uh, coffee. I really like that, especially like iced macchiato. But I only really drink that during warmer months, and not really during uh, winter. Oh fuck. Ooh. Okay, there we go. If you don't see the snow boy, uh, I will... Uh, I will not riot. I will riot. Oh, you mean like the little fella in the thing? Hold up. Oh fuck, I lost everybody because I was paying attention to chat. Hold up. <gasps> Yay! Hello! Someone's five in here. Ooh. 
Where's where's the creature? Where is he? Where's friend? <gasps> ah, a vending machine! Yay! Yay! What's your favorite tea? Uh, I probably... Hmm... Hmm, I really like maple walnuts, like green maple walnut tea, which is really nice. I also really like um, salted caramel oolong tea. Very nice blend as well. Oh, there he is! Yay! Hello. Hello. Awoo! 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 Uh... Not amused, not impressed, okay. Like a rainbow up in the sky Where there is blue, where the lights come to shine Doo -doo. <gasps> The boy The boy The boy Oh, he's such a good boy I like how the ice in this world sounds like glass True, yeah Okay, no, no, Haniwa. He doesn't even care if you cry. Huh. Heartless. I think there's only like a few that he reacts to. Oh! Poor baby. Anywho, um, yes. Um. Please, show me to the new worlds. Please guide me. I wanna see. Basically anything that's r recently new, as in like the past two, three months or so, uh, feel free to show me, because I've probably not seen it. Again, um, whoever wants to take the lead, I'll follow along. Um, dibs, whoever I decide to follow. <laughs> Okay, uh, sh show whichever. This way? Okay. Okay, yes, what's what's new here? Okay, please show. Feel free to show. No, don't- I'm not- I'm not the one in charge. Bitch! Who decided to go here? Okay, so there is something new? Yes, yes, no, yes. Okay. Show me new shit. What's your favorite color? Uh, purple. Again, I guess like more like a lighter shade of purple, like lilac or something. But I also really like the bluish purple uh, type. Very pretty. <gasps> oh, this is nice. Oh, they updated this. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, the flower. Oh, the pastel flowers. Holy shit. Oh, this is so nice. Hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. I need to get my bunny ears. I need to I I need to take a mandatory picture. One sec. Picture time. Everybody get in position. Floors looks much better. Yeah, like the original floors look like a meth lab. This actually looks like oh flowers, flowers everywhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Uh, downloads games. Uh, why no? Blue screenshots. This is F F F F florist. Yes. Florist. Save. Oh, look! <gasps> Cute. Nice picture. Uh, 
Uh, old floors looks like an Adeo gap world. True, true. Adeo Rugap, yeah. I can never pronounce their name correctly. Oh, but the, like, the, the toy box is still there. Oh, so this is still the same, yeah. And now, uh, is there anything new, like, also attached to here? Oh, what the hell is this? What is this? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Funky. Funky, funky lady. Ooh. Worm. Oh, he, he's, a vi he's vibing. This worm. I like this worm. He's nice. That's a nice worm. It's a good worm. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Like a vaguely bunny-shaped thing. Worm guy's having a great time. Yeah, he's vibing. He dancing. Hmm, is there anything here? Is there any anything we can go to? Connections? Anything? At least show if there's any other places in here that we can actually that attach to this. I know there's probably no map of this area, but in case people uh, are at least a little bit more familiar with it. Where's Pleasure Street? Is that also like attached to here? Oh, I guess you can only go back to like the main area. Okay. Looks like a gummy worm. Now what is here? Oh, and this is more florist shit, I guess. Oh, this is some dot flow shit. Oh, I know you're here. Oh, and this is how you get to the shop ruins. Ah, uh, I see. Anything like from the shop ruins that's new, maybe? In here, perhaps? No? Okay. Is there anything new from here? Because otherwise, like, I also don't mind going back to the Nexus. Oh, wait. You have to do your glasses? Ooh. <gasps> Secret tunnel. Oops. Oh, yeah, this. This is for a wallpaper. So in case people haven't, uh... oh, and then you can see the, then you can see the, the, the hooded man. No! I heard a gunshot. I mean, I don't see any guns that went off, so so that's good. That's good. But yeah, again, uh, I know that that is a thing that you have to visit if you want to get like a particular wallpaper. So hey, if people didn't have that one yet, now you do. Um, yes. If there's other new worlds that I need to see, uh, feel free to show me. If we can't get there from here, then uh, let's just go back to the Nexus, I suppose. Wait, there's also like these bottles. Yeah, I don't think there's much. Oh, oh. 
I should go to Rose Manor. Rose Manor? Uh, uh, again, like, I guess we go back to- Hey, bitch! I don't want this theme! Fuck you! Give me my theme back. I don't like this. Fucker. Fucker. Fucking changed my menu theme. Now it's all pink. Okay, never mind. It's back. It's back to the purple. Nice. Okay. Anyway, show show thing. Also, I've also not been to that brown uh, postage pole thing looking world. I've not visited that one either. But I first want to see cool shit. Mr. Bean World. How long have you been doing YouTube and for how long do you think it's changed over time from the community to your personal experience? Oh jeez, uh, that's a loaded question. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, spooky. Ooh! Ooh, I like the pedal effect. Uh, I don't mind talking a little bit about this, but I I prefer, like, once we get to vibing, I'll answer that question. If you can then repeat it, because I'll probably forget by then. Because now, we are busy exploring, and I am very bad at talking and keeping up with the group. If I try doing both. But yeah, oh, dang, this is pretty. This is fucking pretty. Also a badge, nice. Ooh. What's this area called? This is- we're currently in Valentine Meadow. This is apparently one of the newer areas. You can get there from, uh, Theater World. Yeah, this shit is pretty. Ooh, roses. Where's the guns? No guns. Only roses. Uh, now which way? Which way, Western man? Show me the way. Insert dead meme. Valentine like Valentine's Day? Yes, yes. And now we are in Rose Manor. What is this? A rose. Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! It just soft locks you here. Oh! So this is like a no escape area. I mean, it's pretty. Though I would have preferred if they did more some more detail with the night sky, like maybe add some like more starry sparkle effects. That would be nice. Or more like oh, more rose paddles like wafting through the air. That would have been nice. Anyway, yes. Show me, show me more worlds. This is pretty. This was this is pretty. Pretty stuff. Boom. I showed you my veins, please respond. Can I show you something you- Sure, sure, egg. Where's egg? Where did egg? Oh, there's egg. Yes. Okay, to pudding world. Oh, this? This one? Oh, it's, yes. Oh, and we need marginal effect for this. Sure. Okay, now where, uh... What to, what to do? <gasps> Ending machine. Um, 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 um. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay, so now where do we use marginal effect? This little thing? What's inside the box? In Pudding World. Oh, okay. Oh, do you have to interact with the thing with marginal effect equipped? Oh. Oh, that's one giant pudding. Oh. oh what the hell? Oh no! He's dead. Pudding, pudding Chun. Pudding couldn't died. <gasps> he died for our sins. 
This place is so liminal. This place uh, looks like a place. Now what is in here? Open the dang door! Nothing's here. Ah, oh, boo. Well, that sucks. Open the door. Please. I beg you. Pretty please. What? Well, where is it? <sighs> Always worth a try. Always worth a try trying to kick it in with your fucking twin tail. If we go back, we can explore the rest of this map. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, there's more of this map? Ooh. Oh, wait, but then we're back at pudding. Or are we supposed to, like, go back with marginal equipped? Oh, fuck, no. Fuck. Hold up. Marginal. Marginal. Beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. Okay, so you're supposed to, like, here and then go back? Bitch, then... Then you go, just go back to pudding. Okay, so is there other other shit in pudding world? No marginal. Eh. I'm confused. Oh, that that was just it. Okay. Um, is there any other new shit from Pudding World that I can see from here? What about Sweet Medical Utopia? Chaser School, maybe? Show me whatever is new, please. I want to see. Uh, if it requires going to back to the Nexus, I don't mind. If we can go there from here, that's also good. So, whatever, uh, whatever suits you guys need. So whatever's easiest from here. Okay, Chaser School. Okay, show me. Show me the Chaser School. Oh, we have to boom boom? Oh, okay. Or we can just go back through here. That's also an option. <gasps> you can become pudding. Okay. Uh, nowhere. Okay, here? Right. Oh, it's through... Thingy again? Through the QXY world? Wait, where are you guys going? Is there something like new? Is there like a. How do you guys. Okay, the inefficient route, but. I will not say anything. <gasps> wow! Guys, 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 guys. If, if you have Oni Musume. Uh, like this, if she's sitting on the couch and she's reading, interact with her, and you will unlock my wallpaper. If she's not sitting on the couch, then just go back into the door, come back in, because it's like a one in something chance that she's reading. But if she if she's reading and you interact with her, you get my one of my wallpapers that I drew. But it, again, you can only unlock it when she's sitting on the couch reading. You don't get it if she's uh, standing near the bookcase. Again, I think it's like a 1 in 5, so it's pretty easy to get. Isn't that wallpaper broken? It doesn't unlock? I don't think so. I mean, I have it, so... It should work, I think. Hey, how's, uh, how goes Tuki? Doing okay, I'm just uh, being shown around to new worlds. Relatively new worlds. Congrats on becoming a VTuber. Thank you. I just like, I just like having a little visual thing going on in the side corner. Anyway, um, yes. Now that everybody's done wallpaper shit, uh, I guess we continue? Do you just leave and return till she reads? Yes, basically. Side door, okay. In here? Oh, here. Oh, it's through the shadow of the, the thing. Oh. Bong. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I made the music here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 
Oh shit, I don't have a face. Uh, I mean, I don't have a face. Let me, let me through, please. No, pretty please. No more face and no more greasy hair. Oh, true, yeah, it's no, no longer shiny. Can you do anything else in this area, or is this like the only little subsection that you get to see? This is it for now. Ah, oh, boo. I mean, that's a shame, but again, like this, this is cool. This is cool. Hopefully, it gets expanded. I'm sure it will. It just probably will just take some time. Uh, yeah. Anything else that's attached to here, or do we just have to go back to the Nexus again? Uh, I guess that means Nexus time, so... Boom boom, uh, show me, show me the good, the good shit. Show me nice new worlds. There was more in Pillar Arc. Oh! There there is, there was, yes. Um, um, fuck. Sweet medical utopia. Oh sure, show me. Uh, where's the pudding, uh, pudding shit again? Pudding, pudding, pudding. Oh, here. Critter Village? Uh, we're going to Critter Village to vibe. I've already seen Critter Village, though. face anymore. Ooh. Okay, and what are you supposed to do when you no longer have a greasy, uh, greasy face or whatever? Sands of Self, we should go there. Oh, well, but they wanted to, to look at um, the, the, the utopia, whatever utopia thing. Either way, like, uh, I, just show me to new shit. I don't mind. Okay, where? Oh, here. Right. Well, sands of self. Ooh. <laughs> what the? F Hello there, long neck. See, I I've seen her before. I've seen her before in the Efteling. She she lives there. Holy, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a wide. That's a wide Uru. <laughs> Very wide, okay. We got more- oh my fucking god. This- Not gonna lie, this reminds me of like, you know like an Ao Oni? How there's like this cell? You have like this cell area, this uh, basement area with all like the deformed Ao Onis and whatever? That reminds me of this. Like this reminds me of that, should I say. What the fuck? What the hell? Uro, Uro, are you okay? Oh no! <laughs> she has been... She has... Oh my god. Hey! Door. Ooh, does this lead to the... Oh. Burial depths, A. Okay, hold up. I first wanted to see... No, fuck, no! Okay, phew. I'm, I'm here again. What the hell? <laughs> what the name? Same. Same. <laughs> the real Uru. 
Oh, what the hell? Oh, I like this place. This place is cool. Oh my god, you can actually become blob. Oh my god, you can actually made an abyss yourself. <laughs> no! Urutsuki went down to the sixth layer! No! Oh god. Oh, that schnoz. Oh my god. Urutsuki became a cartridge. Uro is really fucked up. Uro do be like, yeah. Use twin tails near a large moving Uro. Whoop. I want to remain blob Uro though. What's this? Urutsuki but on layer 2. Uh, more like Urutsuki but when pulled up from layer... Layer 6. <laughs> Yo, what? what's this? Bra brown poopy. Poopy ball. No! Uruk! <laughs> I do have to say, we are severely lacking in Uro Bunny. What the hell? Uro Crocodile? Uro Bear? Catter oh no wait that's a uh, centipede. Uro centipede. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh god. People are finally starting to implement memes into like Yuma 2K, my fuck. Wait, does this one maybe Oh like the large I mean I don't don't know if this one will react to the twin tails, but I don't think so. Vending Uro, where? Oh, I, oh my God, more, more flower. Fish Uro. <laughs> I found Uro fat. I'm trying to find like the, the giant Uro. Where are you? The technology is evolving. We have memes in Tuki now. Yes. Oh, that's that's. Regular proportions. Uro. No, my no, no. <gasps> oh, I mean that is cute, like a popsicle. Oh, I am very much missing Uro bench though. Th this is a very missed opportunity that they didn't make like an Uro themed bench to sit on. Yeah, I do quickly want to take a picture here. One sec. Yes. Anyway, come, everybody, come take a picture. Come take a picture. Please st stand still so we can. So we can take picture. Yes, and bloop. Yay, okay, this is Sand of Self. Sands of Self. I like this world, this is a cool world. Anyway, um, any other cool- oh, oh my god, oh this chicken! Uro chicken. Oh, you can't do like cock a doodle doo or whatever when you hold Zet. Boo. Why is this here though? Why is this not in chicken world? Gotta go, I'm leaving. Sure, sure, bye bye, egg.
Okay, do you guys just want to stroll up to uh, Crater Village? That's uh, a bunch of chicken. I mean, this is Ura Bear again. Oh no, candle. Candle Uro. Uh, is there more shit you guys wanted to show me? Like the, uh, what was it? The, 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 the other one that you guys said uh, I still had to see? Forgot how it was called. Sweet uh, medical- yeah, that one. Yeah, the Utopia one. Please do show. Again, you guys can come back here later to get the the, the penguin or what the not the penguin, the chicken outfit. You guys can come back here to get the chicken outfit before we go vibing Critter Village. But yes, please do show like the the Utopia one, and after that, I'd say maybe we uh, we vibe. Any anime recommendations? Oh, I got tons, but again, probably best I wait with uh, that till uh, we get to vibing. Hello, hell. Smoking hell. Okay, we have to go back out. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Now this is aesthetic. Now this is what I call pastel aesthetic. Num 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 num. This is so retro. It's retro, but also at the same time very stylized, very like aesthetically pleasing type retro style. went somewhere. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is also a nice vibing location. Damn. Oh, this is cool. Oh, we can all sit on the railing. Oh, that's so cool. I kind of want to take a picture here. Cuz this is really pretty. We can vibe here another stream. True, true. I just need to keep this like in mind because this is a really nice location to vibe. But again, for a different stream. Picture. Boop. Uh, sweet, sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Utopia, sweet medicine utopia. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Urotsuki likes this world. Some of them f fuck off. Um, yay, nice. Anyway, this is cool. I like this. Sing stream went never. No, bitch. I got duped. This world was made by Uwa. There's some other worlds by the same offer connected to the world. Again, this is fucking pretty. Can you also sit here? You can also sit here and here. Oh my god, this is so. Ooh, but I want to see what's here. This gives me Eva vibes. Yeah, I was also about to say, like, this uh, feels like uh, End of Evangelion. Oh, cute NPC. Hello. 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 You are cute. And why are there bloody boxes here? Also, why is there guns on the wall? What happened here? It must be American, yes. Lemonade pool after this guide? Oh, there's another one I have to see? Sure. But in that case, I'd say that's the last one. About where am I? 
Oh, here I am. Cool. What else? Oh, this is so fucking pretty. Holy fuck, I love this. There's more worlds here, though. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? Aww. Boo, dead end. This is still cute. This is, I was about to say cute. I was about to say this is cool. Nice. That's just an angel. Yeah, that's an angel. Okay, so I guess uh, we go back. Alright, one more world. Show me the, the lemonade pools, I guess. Um, yes. Piss time. Let's go to the piss world. Pee pee world, time to swim in the pee Into the lemon party Where the fuck my eyes? Oh my god I mean this is not quite piss world, but this is more like <sighs> This is like eye bleach world Here's a door. Oh. Ooh, what's here? Oh, this is go like to RGB. Ooh. Hello. Fuck. Wait, what, what? Were we not supposed to interact with that? Oopsie. I did not know. Bitch. You bitch. Yeah, I didn't know those were chasers. I was like, oh, hey, blob. Blob friend. Okay, now how did we get to piss pools again? I already forgot. Oh, yeah, here, the piss door. Why does this have to be a new Nexus world, though? This is so dumb. This easily could have been just put in, like, a different world. There's so many, like, Nexus world that still need, like, more connections, yet people are like, No, let's add a new one. Because it's piss, I guess. I guess everybody was just like, No, I'm not adding the piss world to my Nexus world. Okay, watch out for... Funny Chaser, you cannot catch me. No, Chaser. I will not read any messages till- Uh oh. I will not read any messages till uh- Where the fuck are we supposed to go? Till I'm out of this area because chasers. What is here? Ah, chaser. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, there, there's this. He's looking at something. That's cool, I suppose. Uh, my eyes. I mean, that's a squid. Hello. Oh, and now we're in Lemon World. Or, yep. I see. Lemon Party. Yeah. No. Bad. Yeah, again, like, Lemon World is just boring, so, uh, okay. Anyway, time for Critter Village. Let's go. Check party chat. You think being the next world is dumb, then wait till you see the Dream Apartments phone and that. Yeah. It's so fucking dumb, man. Anyway. No, no bully. I, I, I refuse to be bullied, haha. <laughs> I'm being bullied, no! Anyway, let me quickly save, and then we can go to Critter... Critter Village. The lemon piss party, no! 
They really should add an event to like Lemon World that's called Lemon Party. I mean, not that they can actually make a reference to like the, the proper thing, uh, because, <laughs> because Tuki is not. Uh, no, bad. Anyway. Yes, uh, let's go to... Um, I guess through Guts World? Through Guts World, I suppose. That's like the, the fastest way, the fastest... Uh, right? Oh wait, oops, wrong door. <laughs> uh, where's Dream Apartments? Yes, because Critter Village is through Red Sewers, right? Correct, yes. So then we go through Guts World. If, uh, if there's more people coming. Yes? Okay, yes. Because I don't want to do the whole, whole other route. Yeah, maybe you'll be, you're able to bring masks through this route, maybe. Not sure, though. Nope. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, yeah, doy, because you have to go through um, the FC cavern bit, yeah. Unnecessarily creepy. I don't know why. Again, it's called like Fabric World. So you think like, oh, nice with fabric. Oh, wow. No, instead it's uh, instead it'll be an actual party with lemonade. True. Yeah. Yeah, again, someone has to add, like, Lemon Party events to Lemon World, please. It would be so funny. Uh, no, which door is it again? I, for I always forget. This one? Oh, yes. I mean, then you... Can I wait? Okay, let's wait for the other people. Again, for people who uh, need to use it, um, what you first do is like you first interact with the door, then you wait, and then it unlocks. If you have the shortcut. Okay, you have to wait like uh, a little bit, like a couple seconds before interacting again with the door, before it lets you through. If it doesn't let you through, then you unfortunately don't have the shortcuts, but you should be able to have it if you've visited the red sewers before. If you're in the correct room, that is. I'll come from Marijuana. Okay. Wait. See you there. Sure, sure. We are taking this route, so cake. Cake, 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 cake. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, now which way? This way? Okay. Please let there be an easier way to Critter Village. To be fair, like, the route we just took was probably, like, the easiest way because that's the one that uses a shortcut. The other one, like, requires you to go through all the other QXY worlds beforehand. Hyper pastel colors, my favorite. 
Oh god, this shit is always so annoying to navigate. Wait, aren't we supposed to go here? Maybe? Perhaps? Oops! Oh well, there. We, uh, we converged again. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, wait, that, that's the one we need to- fuck. Fuck, fuck. Crap, um, get back, get back. Fuck, fuck. Uh? Hold up, we need to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. We need to go for here, yes. These things look delicious, like something you would, uh, smell like kerosene. <laughs> True, it would be like a cotton candy flavored, uh, kerosene, uh... Like a, a kerosene flavored cotton candy, uh, thing. Mmm. Let the blood flow. Where are we going? We're going to Critter Village. We're almost there. Yay! Yay! Okay, where's the area with the biggest bench? Where do we have the, the biggest bench? Largest bench, please. Alright, good night everyone. Bye bye, Cross. Where's the largest bench? Moo. Oh, cute. Cute. Oh, there's only like a bench here. Boo. But the, this area is cute. This area is cute AF. Can you not sit on these? Boo. I mean, there is a little bench here, so I guess we uh, we we vibe here. Even though the the critters are not here. Now I want a board game about Tuki. Good luck making like, a board game that features all of the the, the Tuki, uh, all the Tuki worlds. Jesus. Again, I don't think there's any area with uh, benches that has like the animals around, unfortunately. But these houses are also very cute. Again, anybody who wants to come vibe and chill, come to Critter Village. Though I might actually change the background music fairly soon because I feel this background music is a bit... It sounds a little ominous, even though like this is supposed to be like a super cute town and whatever, but it's a little ominous music. It's a long-ass path. This is what... Better get the shortcut in that case. Hey, good thing is like once you visit... Red sewers, one time, through like the long ass routes, you can then just use the Guts World shortcut. So it won't take as long. Ta-da! Why so many people in Critter Village? And now we vibe. That's Nostalgia Dreamcore music. Uh, I find it a bit like off-putting for Critter Village, but... Mmm, cool tea, blah. Do I already have a picture at Critter Village? I don't know if I do. I really like the background music of Critter Village. Sounds like something you'd hear from Boards of Canada. I, I don't really like it. Okay. There we go. Screenshot C. 
Oh, I don't know. I didn't have a screenshot of this yet. Yay. Critter Village. I like the new uh, YouTube profile pic. It's so cute. Thank you. Figured I'd draw some new Yunari art. cold right now. Kind of way too tired to go. That's fine. No worries. You can just chill and chat if you prefer. You don't have to come all the way uh, down here. I got lost. No! Internet died. Oh no! I can get to Critter Vills, but my Mac is dying. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm getting there. You can do it. I believe in you. Race against time. Again, uh, maybe you could get, like, a charger somewhere? Unless you just don't have your charger around. The Whooper will be back. Whooper shall be back. Yay. Uh, anyway, yes. Um, what were those things other people wanted to talk about? Did people have questions? I, f I, I already forgot. My memory is uh, goldfish. Goldfish level. Are y'all still at Critter Village? We are vibing in Critter Village, yes. So there goes Lenny. And there goes Axolotl. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I just don't really like this music from the from this world. I'm sorry. I, I just do do not. Can you play some anime soundtracks like Ancient uh, Mag Magus Bride ones? Uh, sorry, I don't really have any anime OST in uh, my Winamp playlist, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Let's see. No. There are some nice seats over there. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Show. 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 Show nice bench. Oh my god, cute. Oh yeah, this is cute. This is fucking cute. My, my bunny ears. Oh well. So be it. It at least has cute, cute tables. Very cute tables. I like this. If only you could do it with bunny ears. Anyway. Anyway, here's some nice calming music. Very calming.
Mmm, I love Beat Mania. <laughs> Falling asleep already. I know, right? So you thought like Eurobeat was like high energy. Get ready for some beat mania type music. See, it, it can be calm, it can be calm. <gasps> Hello there, person. By there, person. Ultra Tacom Tea Party, yes. This is like a tea party going like, uh... It's like having a tea party, but like you're all inside of like a racing car. Little erratic quiz, try to translate this. I literally cannot unread a single, like, word of Arabic. I'm just like... It looks like a doctor's handwriting? That, that's the closest that I can make it out to be, but I literally cannot read anything. Six dollar shrimp special. Better say very strong coffee part. Ah, fair, fair, fair. It's like caffeine party. Shrimp, not shrimp. Wait, what's the difference? I, I don't know what, what's, what shrimp is. I'm here, guys. Yay! Welcome, Urutsuki. About. I'll tell you the meaning. Hi, I, wa uh, I watch you know your streams and they are nice. Ah, oh, that's so, that's so nice. Yeah, hmm. What to talk about? What subject? What subject to talk about? That is not necessarily related to Tuki. My game keeps streaming. I'm just chilling in chat. Oh, sorry about your game. Oh, yeah. The whooper is not dead. <gasps> Yay, whooper is not dead. Yay! Hypothetically there, yay! Yay, welcome Black Mamba! Again, we like for the next Tuki stream, I want to go to that other place that we were just at, like the Utopia place. The, the end of Evangelion looking looking plays. That that one's cool too. Uh but yeah, I by the way, I do have some VR chat stories for you guys again. So if you guys want to hear that, let me know and then I will I will ramble. And <laughs> the fucking robot Uro True.
I asked if Q's one was uh, inspired by Animal Crossing for the house, and he said, yeah. Oh, that's so cute! Yay! Sure. Okay, so yesterday, like, I, I played two days in a row, which is rare for me, because normally I need, like, a day recovery time, essentially, when playing uh, VR Chat, because it's, it tends to be fairly overwhelming. Uh, so yesterday, I played, and I didn't have a very good session, because, again, like, there's this one world that, again, I don't know if people here are familiar with VR Chat, but there's one world that's specifically only for PC users that's very popular called uh, The Great Pug. And generally, like the the if it's a, if a world is PC only, it means that like the people there are generally a bit more mature because it's usually the children that l use like a meta meta quest in order to like play VR chat. So basically, by making it a PC only, you're kind of like more guaranteed to run into like adults and like more mature people. So I I like to go there. And yesterday I went there and. <sighs> Again, like, the, the, there weren't a whole lot of people around, so there's this one area where people can, like, do live performance music things, and you'll usually, well, not, not usually, but sometimes you'll run into people there who are, like, live performing music, like, actual music, like, they'll have their guitar or keyboard or whatever else, instrument hooked up to their mic or whatever, and it's really cool to just see people, like, playing music live like that, so I like to just sit down and watch those people play and whatnot, and I like to give them support. Like, oh, that was so nice, that was so good, because even if like it's not the best quality, I'm still like, yeah, I want to encourage these people, because I like it when people are creative like that, but oh my fucking god. Ugh. Like, the minute I came upstairs to that near- that- that area, there were just two people, like, casually talking or whatever, and, uh, one was saying to the other, like, Oh, do you like the big pants I have on my avatar? Uh, so again, like, sometimes when you hear something like that, then I was like, Oh yeah, you got very cool pants, and then the, the one guy in instantly went like, Oh, what the fuck you talking about? Who are you? Fuck off! Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, that sort of behavior, so I'm like, Chill, dude. I was just congratulating, like, I, I was just complimenting your pants. Oh, get the fuck out of here! Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> I, I walked away and I went to like the, the little stage area because someone was indeed performing there and they were playing like live gu guitar shit. It was really cool. Um, then later on, uh, another dude showed up and apparently he uh, was like a ukulele player. Uh, he could play like ukulele and he was also like a songwriter. So uh, he switched out with like the guitar guy, like, hey, can I play something on stage? And he was like, yeah, sure. Um, so he goes to play on stage, and he also likes- uh, he also sings when he's playing, like, uh, when he's playing his ukulele. And... <sighs> there were a couple people that I noticed that were on the map who were constantly going like, Boo! Boo! And like, throwing tomatoes and shit like that, and I was like, dude, you can just leave if you don't like it. Like, just go to a different floor, you know? Like, you don't have to be here, like, boo, bad, boo, and then, like, they all start throwing tomatoes at me and whatever, and, like, dude, just fuck off, and, like, ooh, blah, 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 you're... Oh, and then, like, one of them, like, fucking started targeting me, like, why the fuck are you playing VR shit, blah, 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 oh, I was like, yo, I'm sorry, I don't know who hurt you, I don't know what you went through, dude, but while you're acting like this, and, like, again, the dude kept on, kept on rambling, so I just had to fucking block him, and I was like, there's people with like PC only, like, who are on PC that act like this? Holy fuck. Again, just so many trolls yesterday. I also felt super bad for like the, the people who were playing music because it already takes guts essentially to try and even if it's like virtual performing, you're still performing for other people and other people listening to you. Uh, so I, I, I also told the people there, yo, I'm so fucking sorry for those assholes just now. Like, that's just not cool at all. Don't listen to them, please. Like, they're just haters. They, they, they just want to get a rise out of you. You played good. Just keep practicing. Like, you do you. Do your best. And luckily they did, did very, really appreciate that. But yeah, I... It sucks so much to, like, having, having to run into people like that. Can anyone join uh, in because I can play violin? Yeah, basically anybody is free to just hop on stage and just like play something. Like sometimes there's nobody there. It's just like a little corner in the back of one of the uh, floors that has like this like little stage themed thing with like speakers and whatever. And people sometimes are just up there p performing some stuff. 
Again, I, I just haven't really ran into trolls in that particular world before. Usually you'll find them in like more like kid-centric worlds or just worlds that are more populated with children and teenagers. Not in that, but not in that world. What the hell, why did they throw, uh, add uh, tomato throwing? Uh, uh, that's too real. Uh, basically, like, in VR chat, you can express, like, emotes. Oh god, I think... Hold up, I am gonna quickly disable this, because I think uh, Dare uh, is trying to get the booby, uh, the, 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 the tall Uro booby. Uh, but yeah, again, like, in VR chat, you basically have, like, options to, like, uh, express like you can emote essentially which is like you're sending out a particular like emoji which is like a smiling emoji laughing a heart or a thumbs up but you also for example have like a tomato which i guess is supposed to be just using like comedic fun like boo haha uh, no bad haha but again people also just use it to be like assholes to people like fuck off get off stage you can't sing blah Yeah, Durman trying to get the tits effect. Yeah. <laughs> people be trolls sometimes. Yeah, again, I, I always try to talk sense into those people. Like, yo, wh why are you being an asshole? But uh, they, they rarely want to talk, so eventually it's just like, okay, well, I'll have to block you. Again, I, I just assume, I, I would hope for the love of fuck that these people are like teenagers, because if they're like 20 plus year olds and acting like that, then holy fuck. Have mercy, like lord have mercy on the fucking human race. Holy shit. Don't feed the trolls better for your sanity. Yeah, again, like, I'll just say a couple words of like, yo, I'm sorry for whatever the fuck happened to you that caused you to act this way, and then if they don't want to listen, then I'm just like, okay, well, I'll, ju I'll just block you, because for my own experience sake, I'm not gonna let my own experience be ruined by these people. Why do they act like that? I don't know, you, you, you can try and ask, but they'll just keep on shouting like, boo, nerd, blah, like... There's no reasoning, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, Lane. I didn't see your messages uh, messages there uh, on, on Twitch. Uh, I'll quickly read them now. I got a Quest Pro and upgraded my PC. Uh, I can try out VR and VR only to the... Uh, VRC only to be embarrassed to talk and I uh, end up uh, selling it all. Aww. You know, again, like, with VRC, it does take, like, some practice, I suppose, to really get out there and, like, start talking to random people. How do you manage to not feel weird talking to people on there? Trust me. When I first start, I started playing VR chat, again, like, just letting you know, I, I play on desktop, so I don't have, like, any VR gear or whatever. When I first started playing, I also was way too fucking scared to just open my mouth and start talking to people on there. But I still wanted to do it, because I was like, fuck social anxiety, I'm gonna try and get better at this. So initially, what I also would do is just, like, I'd go to, like, public lobbies and then just mute myself and then just listen to other people's conversations. But I never found the courage to, like, jump in. Nowadays, it's a lot, like, easier. Like, I will I will try and say hi to people whenever I pass them. I can't always do it, but sometimes I'm also just, like, I do just, like stay quiet and listen in on other people's conversations and then if I hear something or something sparks my interest then I'm like oh yo that's so cool or if I see someone uh, with like something in their bio or something in their name saying like oh Eurobeat or whatever I'm like oh my god you like Eurobeat oh that's so fucking cool I also love Eurobeat and then you just basically start talking like that or if you see someone's avatar that you recognize like yo hey there Lane bye Lane <laughs> Because <laughs> people will usually not even notice. Uh, but again, it's just like, if you make remarks like that, that's always like a good quote-unquote conversation starter. Just make remarks like something like, oh dang, that's that character, that's so cool. Uh, speaking of which, I actually, uh, I think that was either yesterday or the day before I saw someone with a, a lane avatar, avatar and everybody else that was like in the conversation that I was listening to was like, wait, who? I'm like, oh, lane from Serial Experiments Lane.
I played VR chat with one of my friends recently. It's a great uh, single player wise. Ninety percent of the people you meet there are just giant assholes. It really depends on like which worlds you visit, honestly, because I've met some really fantastic people. But yeah, don't go to like it. It's mostly like a a avoid the very popular quest compatible worlds because those are generally not the best to find nice people. Yeah, you just have to have a bit of luck. Good night, everyone. I don't remember how I ever found this channel, but uh, I've been following for years. I never watch your streams because I miss them. That's okay, no worries. Dutchie, by the way. Hey, Nederlander. Yay. Oh, yeah, fuck. I need to announce that I'm gonna be doing a Dutch only, like, funny, uh, funny April Fool stream where Yunari be only speaking Dutch. Haha. <laughs> I have bad social anxiety as well. I get nervous talking to others. Don't worry. Same. Same. Even when I play VR chat and like it's fun and cool, my, my social anxiety still fucking acts up. Uh, uh, if a very is a person that know who Lopmon is, I will go crazy. Again, you'd be surprised. Again, I've, I've ran into people there. We're into, like, some of the same shit that I'm into that's super niche. Like, I've literally run into, like, three, four people already on there. Just t casually talking, like, Hey, do you know what Toho Dojin music is? And they're like, Oh yeah, I know, I listen to Toho Dojin music. I'm like, Oh my fuck, that's so cool. I ended up playing on VR Chess World for uh, weeks before giving up. Oh, I see. Yeah, again, like I've never played any of the, the game worlds before. I just only go to like the, the social social hubs. You please? No, we're not gonna play Despacito. No. Again, one thing you do have to like keep in mind with like public worlds, like because. It's very easy to think like, oh, when I go into a public world and there's a group of people who are talking to each other, oh, all these people must be friends. They must be friends with each other. And I'm just butting into their conversation. And even though like nine times out of ten, it's literally just random people who just happen to like have gone into a conversation and then slowly more people join in and more people join in. Also, I don't like this song. Fuck this song. <laughs> Can you play Dance Around the World though? Uh, by which artist is that? That Like, if it's a Eurobeat song, I probably have it. Me looking at Toho Dojo or something. No, no, no. Toho Dojin music. It's, uh... Toho music. Uh, the, currently... Oh, no, actually, no, what, what's currently playing is not Toho Dojin music. Oh my god, Disney Eurobeat. Here we go. Here, have some Disney Eurobeat. Bro, I'll never forget that moment I went to a room with a TV and they put porn on it. Yeah! You have to watch out a little bit with like public worlds that have like uh, YouTube players, because sometimes people will put stuff on there and like, uh, yikes. Listen, Foreground Ecl Eclipse counts Toho Dojin music? Uh, yeah! Foreground Eclipse has done like Toho Dojin stuff. You listen to Miku as well? Uh, I don't really listen to Vocaloid music anymore, but I used to in the past, and I'm still very familiar with a lot of the old songs. Go, go, catch it immediately, copyright take up. No, because this is the Eurobeat remix. Uh, but yeah, I got like shitty people yesterday on VR chats uh, while trying to listen to people playing music. I felt so bad for them. There was also like a girl who, uh, like after that came on, who was uh, just purely doing singing, but her singing really needed like some more work. But you could tell that she really was trying her best. So I tried to like be like give give some like pointers to like hey keep practicing or whatever. But like you'll get there. Like just keep practicing and. Don't listen to people who say that you can't sing or run bad or whatever, like, just keep doing what you do. Because again, gotta be the, I gotta be the hype man. I have to be the hype man for people who are expressing themselves creatively. Like, I want to be, like, that person for those people. Like, yes, this is cool. Keep this up. This is cool. 
Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and the day before, I actually also went on VR chat. And I actually had a super nice experience then. Again, it's so fucking random. Again, same world, same time, just a different day. Uh, I actually ran into some really cool people <laughs> on Sunday. Oh god, how did it start out? Yeah, I went to like the pug. Again, like the great pug. And there was like a group of people just talking about something. And then some guy just came up to me in uh, some avatar. And he was uh, saying like, oh, hey, that's the real Nanachi. Like, it's the real... Because I use a Nanachi avatar, because of course. Um, <laughs> like, oh my god, you're the real Nanachi. Like, not... Like, because apparently Nanachi has a bunch of like... Um, like, OC versions. Like, she's like a quote-unquote like VR chat species that people tend to use as a base to make like... OC characters out of. So you'll see like a lot of like Nanachi ripoffs like everywhere. But not a whole lot of people use like the original like... Nanachi model, so I'm uh, he was like, oh my god, you're like the actual Nanachi from Main and Abyss. Like, yeah, yeah, I really like Nanachi, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, I also really like Main and Abyss. And like, we, we start talking about Main and Abyss stuff and whatever. Uh, then the dude pulls me aside, like, uh, to like a different section of the, of the cafe. And uh, we just start chatting. Uh, let's see. Just trying to gather the, the story a little bit. Give me a moment. No, you put in play Get It All Right by Chilu. If that's from the Super Eurobeat series, then sure. Um, yeah, basically he pulled me to the side and we just start talking about Main in the Abyss. And he was like, yeah, I like Main in the Abyss, but I don't like how it makes you feel emotional. And it tugs on your heartstrings. I'm like, no, that's cool. Cool, I like that. Like, it's done well. It's executed well. And then, basically just a bit of, like, yada yada. Main Abyss stuff, world building. Uh, then the, the dude tells me that he does, like, photography type stuff. But, like, surrealistic photography stuff where he makes pictures using, like, uh, long exposure time and, and making, like, very cool visual effects using that. E essentially to create, to create, like, this very alien-looking landscape, but it's purely done through lighting or exposure time. And uh, he was apparently, like, trying to create, like, a fictional world using such photos, kind of, like, similar to, like, Made in the Abyss world, but then, like, his own version kind of, using set photographs. So that was really cool. Um, again, like, I will get to, to chat, by the way, once I'm done with my story, but... Uh, then... I was, uh, some Somehow we got on the topic of uh, archaeology, because he, he started talking about, like, yeah, I've ex experienced some very spooky stuff with archaeology because apparently his family or something was like in the archaeology business and they've experienced some spooky stuff or whatever during their time so he started telling some some ghost story about like a thing that had happened to him a again like a lot of, uh, a bunch of other people started gathering around like us while i was just listening to his story and again in interesting stuff but eventually he had to leave um but but more happened after that uh at the cafe, but yes, first let me first get back to the the, the chat. You know, do you have a Discord server? I do. Yes, it's in the description. Still can get used uh, that I started understanding English by ear, though I still suck. That's okay. No worries. I just lost my uh, shortcut to Sugar Road to a uh, piss party, but now I am going uh, I'm <laughs> going psycho mode. Oh no! So I'm just chilling here since I uh, got into Tuki very recently. No clue uh, what I'm doing or where I'm going, but I uh, I feel like that's part of the fun. I have uh, the bike, so I'll be all right. Okay, that's that's go good. Uh, anyway, you said Chilu, and then get it all right. What's your Discord server name? I want to join. Uh, it should be in the description. I don't really have a name for it because I think that's only limited to people who are like partners or some shit with Discord. Uh, let's see. 
Chilu. CC. Chris, Chester, Cherry. I don't see any Chilu with the artist names, so. Is it from the Super Eurobeat series? Because if it's just done by like a random person who made a Eurobeat remix, then I probably will not have it. Let's see. D, D. Casanova Cherry. Yeah, no Chilu. Uh, so, uh, about those anime recommendations, do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes. Um, again, Mushishi, highly recommended. If you're just looking for something chill, if you're looking for something like that still is captivating in terms of story and whatever, but it's very, like, uh, contained, like, because every episode has its own little story plot going on. Uh, but it, again, like the overall vibe of the show is so fucking chill. Like it, it's all set within nature. The atmosphere is amazing. Go watch Mushishi, but don't binge it. Only watch like maybe one or two episodes a day. Like ideally before bedtime, or at least that's why how I prefer to to watch it. Also, the intro is just so fucking chill. So yes, Mushishi. Uh, again, I recently finished watching. Uh, Gonkutsuo, The Count of Monte Cristo, which is like a 2004 anime. Uh, again, like basically just like an, an adaptation of the original novel of like The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, oh, fu like and what the, the the main the count the character in that show is so fucking charismatic. Holy fuck. The Count of Monte Cristo? Yes, yes. Again, it's called Gankutsuo, The Count of Monte Cristo. That's like the full title. If you just search for Gankutsuo, then you'll probably also get it. Again, it's a super obscure like anime from 2004, but it's good. I really like it. Only thing that, <laughs> that's a bit cringe to watch like the CG that's used in it. <laughs> it looks very bad, but... Uh... Yeah, what else? Uh, I also recently, like fairly recently, I watched Flip Flappers for the first time. Uh, also like a pretty obscure anime from 2016. That's like a adventure slash magical girl sl show slash slash slice of life slash uh, lesbian love story uh, slash action. It's, it's a mishmash of several genres, but it's only like 12 episodes or so and it's an anime original. Uh, show. I'm making a cosplay of Karo from Ruroni Ru Ru Kenshin. Never heard of, but good luck. Trying to grow boobs. Yeah, I think it's like one in like what a thousand chance that you get the boob thing with the. the... Damn, the cat looks like a Tumblr vampire. Yeah, <laughs> again, he does be looking. He do be looking like a Tumblr sexy man <laughs> type character. But yeah, again, like it, it, oh, it's so cool. And again, like the Count, he is such a fucking charismatic character. Like, oh my god, he is so fucking cool. Please do not let him be evil. Please. Please. Oh, because he, he's so cool. A oh, 1 in 256, okay. Give him some garlic. But yeah, again, like lots of drama. Like Count of Monte Cristo, the anime. Um, lots of drama. Uh. Again, not your typical anime, because again, it's based on like a western novel. Um, political themes, corruption, uh, funny funny bullshit, lots of drama, lots and lots of spicy drama. Um, characters, good character, uh, interaction stuff. <laughs> Don't give from the Tumblr any new ideas, I'm still mad Reagan didn't win. <laughs> oh no. Now again, like, 
Count of Monte Cristo is too old of an anime to be suddenly revived into like Tumblr sexy man uh, uh, aesthetics. You gotta have running in the 90s. Oh yeah, I have running in the 90s. What, that's by DSX, maybe? Or is that by someone else? Oh my god! Oh my god, he actually did it. Holy shit, the man actually did it. Their man did it. You got the boobies. Hold up. Now I can turn this back on. There we go. The one in 256 chance boobies. dead. You're very dead, yes. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know if people want to hear more of that VR chat story or if people are like, nah, different topic. If you guys want to prefer talking about anime shit, then I'm also fine with that. As long as we have some shit to, to talk about, then uh, I'm happy. Let me quickly pour myself another cup of tea. I spilled. Goodbye, everyone. Gotta go see. Have a fun stream. Sure, sure. Bye bye. More anime. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, God. Uh, hold up. Give me tissue. I spilled water. Tell us more about your adventure. Okay, so basically, after I. After that dude who to told me about, like, main abyss and photo manipulation and uh, archaeologist bullshit, uh, like maybe bullshit question mark type stuff, he left. And there was somebody else in that world, like a, a girl or whatever, and she was labeling everybody like as either a dog or a cat, like, oh, you have very big dog energy, you have cat energy. And then it's like, okay, explain why I'm a dog or a cat. And like, oh, well, you, you're, you're very... Pouncy, you're very like to the point, direct, blah blah blah. And like she was just everybody uh, just was being labeled like, yeah, you're a dog. You, you you radiate dog energy. You radiate cat energy. Meanwhile, I show up there as a big big ass bunny. So I'm like, okay, I reject this spectrum. There is no longer there is no spectrum from dog to cat energy. There is also a spectrum called <laughs> bunny. <laughs> I refuse. I am bunny. So that, 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 that was a thing. Um, there were also some people who were being taught uh, Russian swear words. Which, again, someone overheard because, again, like, one of the, the guys I was also talking to at some point was Russian. And like, oh yeah, those people over there, they're being taught Russian swear words. Like, oh, cool. Um, oh, yeah, oh yeah, and then I think, like, some b big friend group came into the cafe. And they also started like mingling into like the conversation. And one of them had this really fucking weird he he had like a bunch of weird avatars. I don't know what they were from, but they looked like very realistic like gaming models of like this zombie shroom person or whatever. And it had like this ability that it could like like it could use like its tentacle, like its its tendril hands on <laughs> other people and it looked really cursed. Uh, and like there was this, this other dude who was I think that he was friends with that person I don't know or if there were strangers I do not know their exact relationship but there was like another guy who uh, was like just having a conversation or whatever and like the, the dude with the creepy ass avatar would constantly like be targeting that dude with his like tendrils and whatever and the other guy would be making like fake choking noises <laughs> like why are you gonna why are you gonna do this and like oh my fuck <laughs> he was very good at roleplaying getting choked all right a bit too good yeah like, it was funny it was funny 
Yeah, again, like, he had that avatar, and then also it's, like, some avatar with, like, an upside-down siren head-looking thing. Very, very weird avatar. I was just like, get the fuck away from me, from me. Bye. Resident Evil? Maybe? I don't know. It was some weird, like, mushroom, zombie... Sort of like Avatar, realistic looking. Last of Us, Resident Evil. I don't know. I don't know. I probably have like a screenshot somewhere because I have like this time management app that takes like a screenshot every minute of my my screen. So I probably have like screenshots of him, but I can't really post that here. But yeah, again, uh, funny shenanigans. Uh oh yeah. Lazarus, again, the, the one that's currently in chat, he was getting harassed by one of the guys to, like, watch me in the Abyss. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, you're not watching me in the Abyss fast enough. You need to watch me in the Abyss faster so you can get to the Nanachi part. <laughs> and I'm like, no, it's fine. And he can take his time with watching me in the Abyss. Like, <laughs> but they're like, no, you have to keep watching. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I was threatened. Yeah, we were being, you were being harassed. You're being uh, threatened by them. Do you have experience with the room No Time to Talk? I've never been there myself before because it's a bit intimidating because you also don't just don't know what type of people you'll you'll meet there. But I've seen some YouTube videos of it, but again, like I've never been there myself, so I don't know the the general experience there. Watch me in the abyss or die. Again, it was more just uh, like, oh, dude, you gotta hurry the fuck up. You need to get to the Nanachi. You need to go see Nanachi. Two, uh, two uh, minutes, no time to talk was great until last year. Now it's full of kids, sadly. Oh, that sucks. Oh, it would be so cool if they could make like a no time to talk, like PC only version. Because maybe that would help, like, Weed out a bunch of the children. I'm forced to make, <laughs> forced to watch Made in Abyss like the scene in Clockwork Orange. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. No, I don't want to watch it. Again, like it's even like unprompted because I, w I was just saying like, no, it's fine. You can take your time. And then the, the dudes kept harassing. Uh, uh, I mean, one of the guys also said, like, oh yeah, I've also watched Main Abyss, uh, but I haven't watched the whole series. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, I watched the, the part with, with the dude with the helmet. I'm like, oh, okay, so you've, you've seen the movie. I'm like, have I seen the movie? I'm like, yeah, the, the dude with the, the helmet and the girl with the green hair? That's from the movie. And he's like, oh, yeah, I get it. I think he said he still had to watch season two, though. Don't spoil it yet. Don't worry, I will not, because uh, Lazarus is also currently in chat, who still needs to watch uh, past, like, episode... W what episode were you on? You said seven or so? Of season one? So yeah, don't worry, I will not spoil. I shall not spoil. But he, uh, like, uh, the guy did say... Again, like, this was the guy uh, who was uh, role-playing the choking part, by the way. Uh, <laughs> He was saying like, yeah, uh, it, like it was really fucked up, uh, and I'm, I'm like, ah, it gets, it gets worse. <laughs> yeah, I spoiled myself about enough stuff. Uh, F7, like other shows. Yeah, d do not spoil yourself for main abyss, please. Would desktop version not have more kids because the chats cost less? Okay, see, here's how it works. The reason why, like, on desktop mode, you will not, like, encounter as many kids as if you, uh, were to play, like, on, like, Quest World is because... Generally what happens is, uh... The meta quest is, like, a VR headset that doesn't need a PC to run it. You can just run it on its own. And it has, like, a built-in app store. And... You can just download VR chat through that, but again, it doesn't require any sort of PC or whatever. So generally, what happens like parents give their kids a, a quote-unquote pretty cheap VR headset, and then they use that to play the game. Does mean that they will get to see like a very limited uh, way of like v the entire VR chat because again, like the quest is just not powerful enough to run a bunch of the graphics. 
Uh, but that's generally why like quests are like associated with like kids or whatever because they don't have a computer. They don't have a PC. Well, if you're in desktop mode, you can actually see the full scale, the full scope of all the effects that are meant to be seen on VR chat. Uh, again, so so that's that's kind of just how it works. And also, as like a PC desktop user, you can enter PC worlds while Quest only kitties cannot because they do not have a PC. Again, you can hook your Quest up to a PC and then use it that way as like a PC uh, VR headset. But again, most children just don't have access to that. So yeah. Thanks for the evening. Good luck, humans. Bye bye, worm. I'm saving for the HTC Vive. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the... Enough howling. Also, a different song. Again, I personally would just be fine with, like, using a quest just to start out. But of course, like, uh, playing a quest into, like, PC. I don't need anything fancy, though honestly, I'm also just fine sticking to desktop for a little while longer, because I don't mind it too much. So you're getting a quest? Shut. Shut. I will not. Eventually. I do not know when yet. Again, my, my, Dutch, my Dutch brain is like, Cost money, and this is a free game. Why should I spend money on a free game? So no. <laughs> Again, I'm I'm personally just fine with desktop, but yeah, I do recognize that there's probably like more. You, you're more immersed when uh, you're uh, like in actual VR. Okay, I'm back. Hello, hello. You can do things, uh, other things with the headset as well. Yeah, but if I were to get like a headset, it would just primarily be for like uh, VR chat because I'm I don't really have much interest in VR games. To be fair, again, it's, it's like a nifty, nifty thing. Like it's a nifty, like oh, cool. Cool, cool, I can now play this game in VR. I'm going to dip, I'm feeling tired. That's okay, bye bye Jojo. Yeah, after that, like, eventually, uh, that entire group of friends left. Uh, I don't think there was much that happened after that. But yeah, again, like, interesting session. You never know what you experience when you uh, jump in uh, a VR chat. Buy Jojo from Jojo Bizarre Adventures. Oh no, you know he's being attacked. Oh no, I'm being attacked. No. I'm gonna hop onto a VR chip for a bit, but have a nice one, everyone. Bye bye, Lazarus. I hope you uh, have a nice session and don't run into trolls like me yesterday. It's always a gamble. I'm gonna take a nap. Feel free, have a nap. I'll still be here. Sure, sure. Again, one thing that's also like fortunate, like if you want to try out VR, uh, VR chat, and you don't have like VR gear, and you just want to play on desktop mode, like I have not really experienced any sort of like, I guess people being shitty for like, oh, you play on desktop mode. Oh, you're so fucking poor. 
<laughs> or anything. Like, people don't shame others for anything like that. Uh, the only thing is, like, if you play on Quest only, like, without a PC, just purely on a Quest, then they probably will assume that you're a child. Because it's just g the general, like, stigma uh, in that regard. But yeah, beyond that, like, people don't really mind if you're, like, on, on desktop. The only thing that they will be wary of is, like, if you're a new player and you're on desktop, uh, there is a good chance that you might get ignored, ignored by a lot of people uh, simply because desktop users who are, like, new users are often also, like, bots or people who pur purposely come into particular worlds in order to crash them. In order to like overload the world and like crash it and like everybody gets booted from the world, so yeah, th th that is like a thing to to keep in mind. What video games do you like? Uh, I like Yumatuki. <laughs> um, I also really like again like there there's a, some games I've been really addicted addicted to in the past. I don't play them anymore nowadays, but they're very good. Uh, I really enjoyed Stardew Valley a couple years ago. I also have been very big into Subnautica before. Uh, but if <laughs> again, this is just me. Like whenever it's like a PC game, like oh my god, there's mods available. I can mod this game. Hell yeah. Ins uh, fucking installs 20, 30 different mods in order to make it like just <laughs> what I like. Because I remember like in, in Subnautica, I installed so many mods that would like add more crafting features for like your base and whatever to make it look more cute. Um. Oh yeah, I also really enjoyed uh, Disco Elysium. I I'm ro really wanting to replay that game. Sometime. I don't know if I should do that on stream or if I should do it in my own time because it might be a bit too boring for some people because it's literally like it's basically like a visual novel because it's more like text it's a lot more text and narration than anything like there, there is gameplay more than a, a general visual novel but yeah a lot <laughs> a, a lot of text a lot of reading but it's really good I really like it I'll stay here listening to you, Nori. The closest thing I have to a friend I have. Aw, I'm sorry to hear that. Again, just keep in mind uh, parasocial relationship. Just keep that in, in the back of your mind. Subnautica stream? I sadly don't have Subnautica anymore because I pl I used to play it back when uh, me and uh, Zan were still together and I, I had access to his entire Steam library, which was a fuck ton of games, and I just used like I played on like uh, his like Subnautica copy uh, so unfortunately like I don't have it anymore but oh well I also don't know if I can stream Subnautica or if that would cause like too much of like an FPS drop I don't know Okay, different song. No. Oh, this one's nice. Wait, wait, who's the unnamed pingui? Good question, I have no clue. I really need to add this one also to my favorites because I like this one. But yeah, again, like uh, when it comes to like VR chat, like. You can definitely meet some very cool people there, it's just a matter of like time, you need to be patient. And you just gotta put yourself out there, and like just... If 
topics come up that you find fucking interesting, just like, oh yeah, I love that, oh, Toho, hell yeah. Either that or just eat, like, literally just listen to other people's conversations. And sometimes you just have people who are actively looking to talk to, like, people who are just more distant like that. I know which is, like, bonkers, like, really weird, but there, there are people who who actively go looking for people uh, that are quiet and, like, want to talk to them. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, also how you can just run to really cool people. Because that's actually how I met one really cool guy on there. Like, I literally just went into, like, a public lobby at some point, because I saw there were a bunch of people in there. And there was, like, this, this, this dude and I think two other players, like, just sitting on, like, a couch and they were talking together and I literally just... <laughs> Stood like a couple meters away from them, just not saying anything, just listening, just listening in on the conversation, not adding anything. <laughs> and like, I, I stood there for like a good five minutes or so, not saying anything at all. And then at some point, like, uh, I think one of the people had to leave or so, and then the other person also left. Uh, so the guy turned to me and just started having like small talk with me, like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, you, yeah, yeah you're a bunny, yeah. Uh, you, you have bunnies, you have pet bunnies, I see that in your body, like, yeah, 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 and then I start talking a bit about bunnies, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm fairly new to VR chat, blah, 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 like, oh, I have some worlds I could show you, and then, like, th then he was like, you wanna come with me to, like, private world, and I can show you some cool shit, and like, yeah, yeah, sure. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, God, is this gonna be one of those experiences? Because apparently, like, it is, it can be very common in VR chat, like, especially if you're, like, uh, a woman or have, like, a female-sounding voice. That people will pull you aside and be like, Hey, wanna come to an, a private world? Wanna come to an invite world? Uh, I, we can have a good time together. And, you know, that... <clears throat> Yikes. Yikesy shit. So I was like, oh god, is this gonna be one of those occurrences? Is, am I gonna run my... Am I really gonna have to experience this? But luckily it was not the case. It was just like, again, dude actually really wanted to show me cool new worlds. He showed me a bunch. What an amazing... F fucking amazing experience, cause especially for like one of my first couple like proper playthroughs in like uh, VR chat. And yeah, ever since like uh, I've had fairly decent contact with it. Or well, like I, I believe like I met him like in December. That in January we didn't talk at all or whatever. And then just randomly, I think last month or so, I was like, oh hey, he's online. Uh, maybe see if uh, I can join him or he can join me, because I remember he was very cool. Uh, he declined, uh, but he did ca still come to like my world at some point, saying like, Oh yeah, I just wanted to wish you good night, blah blah blah. I'm like, oh, thank you, that's so nice. And now we occasionally just- we I think we like hang out together, maybe like once a week or so. And just talk about stuff, and again, re really cool shit. Yeah, don't go along with random people on VR chat. That's how you get groomed kids. Yeah, especially if you're a child. If you're a child, I would say, like, if you're a minor, don't do that. Like, don't just be, like, if someone's like, Oh, I want to invite you to a, a cool private world. Then I'm like, yeah, I'd say be very wary. If you're an adult, then, yeah, it may lead to, like, kind of awkward situations. If there's a guy who's actively trying to flirt or whatever. Or even worse, if they're trying to ERP. Like, unprompted, then, uh... I mean, hey, at the very least, you can then block them and you can get yourself out of there ASAP, but yeah, for minors, I'd say uh, don't. <laughs> Stick to public worlds and watch the fuck out, because yeah, there, there are there are predators, like, specifically roaming public worlds uh, that are filled with kids for nefarious reasons. Yeah, unmarked van in VR, yeah. Again, I've not ran into, like, any of those, like, creepy pedophile type characters, but then again, I don't exactly sound like a 12 year old, <laughs> so... Ugh. Again, I feel so bad for the kids, even even if they're fucking annoying as shit, but... Is there no VR police? You can report people, I think. It's also like, if people get mass blocked or whatever, that like, it'll like, restrict their account or something. 
uh, and I think you can actually report people, but again, I don't know how decently the policing in that actually is. You need to call cyber police. Chat can either have the sweetest people you ever meet or some of the most deranged people ever know in between. True. I mean, I, I feel there is like an in-between, but yeah, that's a very, very true. Like you can literally, like once, especially with like public worlds, you never know what you're gonna get. And yeah, like I said, if you stick to PC only worlds, then you're more guaranteed to find like decent people there. But yeah, there can still be degenerates or weirdos on there as well. Uh, but yeah, you can you you legit can find like either the, the kindest most sweetest or the coolest people there or just like complete like awful people there it's a very mixed bag <laughs> vr chat becomes cyberpunk tw uh, 2077 Is that not inevitable though? I mean with the, the way VR chat is just set up and it's essentially just like an open chat room platform essentially, except like you all have avatars and you all use like basically voice chat. It's bound to like attract like both the, 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 the best and the worst people and you, you just never know again because anonymity. And you can also just like hear the most the, the wildest stories there. I just got the dumbest idea. Guy wants to uh, wants to show people cool worlds he likes, but he has a creepy white fan model. <laughs> I mean, there, there, I'm sure there's plenty of people who'd be like, "Hell yeah, I'm coming along." Feel for sure, sure. If someone lacks social skills, they can come off weird, but maybe uh, do not mean harm. Oh, no worries. Again, there's plenty of folk in VR chat that you can tell are struggling, like, maybe a little bit uh, in terms of social skills, but you can tell that they're trying their best and they don't have, like, any ulterior motives. Again, just, like, be, be patient with people. Sometimes people also just need time to, like, gather their courage to, like, say things and whatever, so like, yeah, hey, I, I understand the feeling, no worries, take, take your time. I can only think of the arches as that one John Tron uh, was talking with a depressed piglet, if you know, you know, I think I vaguely remember that. What's the weirdest encounter you've found in VR chat? Uh... Again, I've only really met one proper, like, creep creep who was like, Oh, we can become such good friends and, like, scooting closer to me. I think that was one of the, like, earlier sessions that I did and I was like, Ah, get me out of here! Ah. Beyond that was probably, like, the the shitty teacher guy that I told you guys about uh, a couple a couple streams ago. I think that's probably, like, the, the, the strangest person. I met or what the most questionable most questionable person. Again, I'm sure there's more strange folk on VR chats, just that I personally have not spoken to them.
Yeah, the teacher sounded like a weirdo. Yeah, he was uh, odd. Again, it's so weird, because like at the start, it, he seems like a totally fine, cool guy. Like, oh yeah, cool, you like learning languages. Oh yeah, cool. Oh yeah, I hate TikTok. I hate how people think that they're now suddenly all experts on a particular topic. Blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, yeah. Ugh. I mean, hey, with people who have like, anybody can create a platform now, so yeah. Blah. The living contradiction, yes. The person was like, I love new ideas, I love learning. If you stop learning, you stop living. Meanwhile, I hate mental health. I hate, I hate LGBT. I hate. Oh. Oh. Yeah, again, that was, that, that was certainly was a, was a moment. I hope his girlfriend can get away from him. Yeah, I feel so bad for his girlfriend. I mean, hey, she studies psychology, so hopefully she'll be able to see through his bullshit. The internet has made uh, learning easier than ever. Again, he was just ranting how, like, oh, well, everybody thinks they're an expert now on every single topic, and these fucking TikTokers do not know shit what they're talking about, and I need, they, should need, they need to be taught a lesson. Also, public executions are good. <laughs> I wish we could bring back public execution so we could get rid of the, the filth on the streets, and I'm like, mm hmm Yikes! Yikes! That's very yikes, guy. You, you, you sure? You, no, 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 no. That's not good. Surprised he wasn't able to get a partner. I know, right? He was like, "Yeah, I'm currently living in Poland, and it's so..." Uh, yeah, he he didn't he didn't go into like, "Oh, Poland is such an amazing country because they're so fucking L anti LGBT." I love it. Like, at least he didn't go full mask off there. But I'm pretty sure that probably was his sentiment. It's the case of people who are more extreme, they uh, are normal until politics come out and often uh, they're right wing. Yeah! Like, initially I was like, oh, maybe he's just misguided, maybe he just misunderstands, so maybe if I just like, hey, have you maybe thought that, like, uh, people go through shit, people have, like, their, their own personal shit to deal with, so if people act in a particular way, it could be because of a very long string of events. That, that led to this, and it's not just a one-off occurrence where it's just like, oh, they're just crazy. Like, it's more com complex than that, dude. No, they just don't want to get to help. They don't want to get better. They like having the victim role. I'm like, the dude, dude, it's a little arrogant to assume that you are allowed to be the judge of someone who goes through a lot of tough shit. Like, do you know everything about their life? No? Then shut the fuck up. And then he was like, yeah, but a little bit of arrogance is good, you know? Oh. Oh, uh, Miss Pingui. Had some weird ass guy in his late 20s tell my friend that, uh, they are. Uh. They are being into gender politics just because they are non-binary. The entire time I've gotten them into lavender ones was awkward as fuck after that. Yeah, maybe report that person if they were really like harassing you or your friend. I haven't broke any rules, was just very uncomfortable. I mean, you can count that as like harassment. But if it's just a one-off occasion, then like I'd say just make a note of it to maybe like the the, the higher ups. Sniffing farts is bad, but my smart my farts smell great. Yes, th that person essentially. Again, you luckily don't really encounter a whole lot of like those wackos too much in VR chat, or at least I haven't, because again, just because of the nature of the VR chat platform, it was a one-off occasion. Okay, that well at least that's good. That's why I do not like talking to my uncle. Every conversation and goes like uh, that he uh, claimed we should not help the homeless because they would uh, choose a lifestyle. 
Yeah, some people just cannot be reasoned with, and you, you, you just need to know which those people are and which to not, like, spend your efforts on. Like, do not engage, like, your, your fucking energy. Don't waste your energy. Also, I remember one guy who I met a long time ago who basically brought a bunch of people together into a 1GC and we all became from, uh, one group chat. And it turned out he's a religious extremist who's extremely homophobic. Oh, yikes. Oh, fucking yikes. That's very yikes. We just made a new group chat without him. Good. Good. world yeah again yeah, like this is a super cute world this is Corridor village my LARP is accepting everyone in regards of politics but the unaccepting uh, people tend to just filter themselves out yeah true I mean people who just like are disrespectful and like basically treat you like utter ass like why should you respect those people like you what you can do is, like, you can respect them in the sense of, like, you can feel pity for them. Like, holy shit, I'm so sorry that your brain is so rotten that you have devolved into these sorts of opinions. I hope you get help. I hope you get whatever help you need, because holy fuck. And that's the, like, that, that's the kindest thing you can do for them. Like, just have empathy for them being so brain dead. And hoping that they will fucking get help. I like the paper mache trees. Again, I think they're supposed to be like low poly ish, but they could also be like paper paper art. Character improvement lecture with you, hard to hear when you uh, see your past or even current self in this, but also really great to know your deficiencies so you have a chance at improvement. A. Recognizing your flaws? is the first step. Like, actually admitting that, like, yeah, I might be wrong on this, that's already, like, an amazing step. You're already ten fucking steps ahead of this stupid, like, this teacher guy who was like, no, actually, um, arrogance is good. It's good to be judgmental of people. It's fine. It's okay to be, like, a judgmental asshole, even though I don't know shit about these people. Like, dude. My god. I'm like, hey, and also, like, if people, like, are into, like, self-harm behavior, they don't just do that shit for attention, you know? My god, no, literally, this girl, she was different, she was just doing, doing it for attention, like, even if she was diagnosed with, not with depression or whatever, then she still, like, the fact that she's still harming herself, even if it was, like, legit, uh, that she apparently doesn't have depression, there were, still is something there, like, there's still something in inside of her head that's just not going like that's unhealthy like no healthy person would just be harming themselves like that you know well just for attention like <clears throat> oh my fuck again some people oh they're so far up their own ass and i'm like I, I can't do anything here all i can do is just offer my perspective hopefully he'll take it into consideration but yeah, again, I'm very bad at like being like, okay, this is this is enough. I need to exit here because my brain is rotting. Because I have a uh, very long, I have big, I have big patience. Maybe a little bit too much patience for people like this. He hates people. Uh, he hates everyone being experts. Yeah. Hello, Danny.
These days I do not tell anyone my political ideology. I mean, like, you don't necessarily have to outright state your political ideology, but usually it just shows through the way that you, like, your opinions on particular subjects and whatever. Like, yeah, this is cool, this is not cool. And that kind of just shows, like, oh, this is what I find important and this, like, is not important. My parents are like that when struggling with mental health, they just tell me to act normal. Yeah, again, like... It's fucking uh, frustrating, but like, there's a lot of like, parents and older people who just do not believe in mental health, essentially. They're like, yeah, maybe that exists, but not here. Like, mental health, that only applies to like, the, those... Those wacky people in the in insane asylums, that's mental health. Anything else, that, that's not mental health, and... Like, if you can't even get to that point where, like, if they can't even accept that, like, yo, this actually is a thing, then there's no beginning, there's no start, so just best to, like, distance yourself. I don't support LGBT, my religion doesn't let me, uh, but I do respect their decision. Again, I'm not gonna be too harsh on you because I'm pretty sure you're still a teenager and you're just like, you're, you're kind of brainwashed maybe still by your religion, but I do hope you, you come to new, like, insights. I'm not gonna go into a full ass discussion here because it's too late for that, but... I almost got sent into an asylum because my therapist was a dummy. Oh Jesus, I'm sorry to hear that. Believe it or not, mentally it would like nothing more to act normal, but sadly we can't. Again, these sorts of people who think that like mental health doesn't exist are the exact same type of folk who are like, Well, I got beaten, I got- I had all these shitty things, like traumatic shit happened to me and I turned out fine. No, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't, you just don't see it. <laughs> oh my fuck. Thankfully, people in mental health uh, hospital weren't dummies and I didn't uh, got stuck there. Th that's good. That's very good. And I went to another therapist and that also got proper meds. Oh, that's, that's very good to hear. My mom works in public health, so she isn't stuck in that mentality. Oh, that's very good, yeah. You know that uh, cancer you have in your stomach or that arm that's broken? Just be healthy and normal. Yeah, again, it's the same, like, oh, I know you're like, you have a broken ass leg, but just walk on it, you know? Or like, oh, I know, uh,. I know you have, uh, uh, say, scol- uh, I know you have scoliosis, but, like, just walk normal. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Or, like, I know you're in a wheelchair, but how about you- Have you never thought about using your legs? You know? Oh my god. Like, oh, but it's all- Again, these people also like to say, like, it's all in your head. Meaning, like, oh, because it's in your head, you have full control over it. Like, to an extent, like, that's- fair, but like, there's certain things, like, it's not as easy as just, oh, well, just stop believing that, like, oh, frustrating. Just buy a house, yeah, exactly. I wonder, uh, as a Tuki, uh, do you have a suggestion for a specific uh, place I should go? <gasps> come here, come to Critter Village. Again, it's super cute. If you can get there, but again, it's a fairly long pathway, so... Um, I don't know if you have the bunny effect, but if you have the bunny effect, then go to Sakura Forest. It's very easy to get to. And then there's a very giant bunny in the forest that you can interact with, and he'll give you a cute little menu theme. And it's very cute. And it also will unlock one of my wallpapers, if you do that.
Tuki noob. Okay, if you're a Tuki noob, then yes, Sakura Forest. That's li Sakura Forest is basically Portraits Purgatory, and then uh, from the Purg Portrait Purgatory entrance, you go up till you find a, a pink painting, and then just interact with that, and then you're in Sakura Forest. As a kid, my parents also sent me to one of those institutions and I was abused even there. Holy fuck. Oh jeez, that sounds awful. Some, uh, someone old says, back in my day, this wasn't a problem. Look how we turned out. Yeah, yeah, I know that exact... Uh, oh, I've heard that exact sentence. I neglect to mention how many of their friends' family uh, just didn't make it. Yeah, that or, like, it's like they actually... Like, people actually are fucking suffering, but they're all suffering and silent. And then, like, it's suddenly like, oh, dang. This person suddenly, like... This person is an alcoholic. Oh, this person committed suicide. Oh, this person, like... Did, did, I don't know, insert, like, bad coping mechanism that they, they kept uh, in, divulging in. I have a chronic uh, disease and I have people tell me to take a diet and will cure your incurable disease. Again, just know that you know better than those people and those people are just full of shit. Again, maybe they legit are just trying to help, like, oh, have you tried this? But I know how frustrating it can be, like, when you're suffering from something where you've already tried so many fucking things, and then people just come in like, well, have you tried insert very obvious thing? Like, yes, thank you. I've never, oh no, I've never thought of that. But in the end, they're just trying to help, hopefully, and not being condescending. My opinion to anyone who hasn't played Tsuki but wants to, I recommend exploring the games randomly so you don't get spoiled and only go for pretty worlds uh, and ignore the 800 other worlds. Yeah, just like, walk around, see what you can find, go through random portals, uh, I mean you, you can use world maps if you get lost in world, but ideally you just want to like wander around till you find something. another subject, what project do you have coming up? Uh, I currently don't have any YouTube works uh, in the works, uh, unfortunately. Again, I do want to make like a, a, a video at some point about like dream, like a bunch of dreams that I've had, but uh, again, I haven't really gotten started on it yet. Been too busy with shop stuff. Uh, I currently have like an order for keychains that are being produced. Um, it still has to complete and I it still has to be shipped to my address, but yeah, uh, really curious how they're gonna gonna turn out. Are you okay with people who trauma dump on others? Uh, if it's a random ass person, then it's kind of strange, especially if you've never spoken to like if the, the if it's clear from the communication that like that person is fine with it. I don't see an issue with it. Especially if you're friends with some person, then like I feel that should be like an acceptable thing to do, given that you don't trauma dump literally like. 10 million times a week or something, you overwhelm them. Penguins are trying to eat me, can't have shit in you, man. <laughs> no! Cannibalistic penguins. I'll try turning my brain on and off again. True! Hey, have you tried doing a factory reset of your brain? I mean, honestly, that probably was, like, the logic back in the day when they did, like, fucking electroshock therapy. Like, oh, we just need to shock it back into, like, fucking factory mode. Like, what the fuck?
Is that not what the stream is for? Yeah, my, my stream is a safe space for people to trauma dump if they need to trauma dump. Because I am here to listen. Because I have I have lots of patience. I have lots. lots uh, I like to think I have empathy for people who have mental mental struggles. So yeah, I'm like, if you want to talk about it, feel free. And I'll try and see if I can <laughs> say some, anything that may help. But yeah, again, like generally, like, you you do want to like go to like people who you actively trust and ideally not like a random streamer like me <laughs> but if you really have nobody else to, to turn to then some place to like get it out is better than no place though journaling again i i highly recommend journal journaling for anybody that like struggles with like mental shit like if, if say you have absolutely no one you can turn to you have absolutely no one you can talk to about these issues and they keep on ruminating in your head you just need to get it out of your system, get a journal, and like just write it all down, vent it out on paper. I, I, I personally feel that really does help, because it kind of just helps you, I guess, process it, in, in a sense, because you're like going through the, the, the situation in your head, like, oh, this is what it's annoying, and this, and this, and I don't know, it just makes it a bit more digestible instead of like having it like swirling around in your skull for god knows how long. Wait, but I already trust you, Yunari, from YouTube. If you really trust me, then what's the, the, the six funny numbers on the, the <laughs> back of your credit card? <laughs> oh. For some people, electroshock therapy uh, does help, especially now it's more done ethically. Yeah, but I would assume maybe like nowadays they know like maybe that they can actually target particular parts of the brain maybe to shock. Maybe, that's just my guess, which I guess is like more ethical because then you like they, they nowadays they actually have like the knowledge of like, oh, this actually might help. But like have it just be like, oh yeah, just shock them into being normal again, just being like the go-to approach back in the day, that, that's very, very big yikes. You seem like a really cool human being unless uh, your stream is also evil. Oh, I'm am so fucking evil in real life. Ha oh, ha! You never, you will never know. Ha oh, ha. Good advertisement for your pyramid scheme, <laughs> guys. I have a course. If you really, if you really like me, if you really care, if you really trust. The Unari, then buy my course for uh, the, the small price of uh, 900 uh, euro. <laughs> oh, jeez. Guys, if you love Pokemon, give me the funny numbers and then mom's credit card. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's really only done for serious treatment resistant depression only as a last resort. Yeah, no, that makes, makes makes total sense that they first like try all the prior steps and like if nothing else works that they might try that. There's a difference between electric shock uh, target areas to cause some effect and, and just go like, yeah, just shock them till they get it. Yeah, basically. I get like regarding like the, the difference between like stream me and like non like off stream not uh like stream Yunari. Uh, I like to think like one thing that it's very big difference between like online streaming Yunari and like offline streaming Yunari because again like I, there are people who are on like again not right now but there are people who can vouch for like what I act like like when when there's no like streaming going on. Uh, I think it's like more like a, a confidence thing that like during live streams I'm a lot more comfortable just talking about whatever the fuck while like I don't really suffer as like I don't really suffer much from social anxiety at all while with other sorts of like <laughs> uh, places online with interactions I am a lot more like quiet and reserved and don't really say anything. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the main difference but beyond that I, I like to think I'm pretty much the same. Evil Yunari blue chicken turns black. Evil Yunari don't like bunnies, I like kitties. <gasps> yes! Wait, what's the opposite of bunnies? What we like, okay, what's what's something that's not fluffy? Doesn't have long ears, that doesn't have a fluffy tail. Hmm. 
that doesn't have that, that has tiny eyes because bunnies have big eyes a wasp maybe wasps crocodile mm. rats no a rat is still rats are cute rats is like fluffy uh yeah, maybe like a, some sort of bug or whatever. It's like the opposite. So I'm like, oh yes, the, the Unari is so into wasps. Like evil Unari is into wasps. Evil Unari with her wood pigeon pet. Oh yeah, true, true, true. That would be like the yes, that would be me. I I I, I would adore wood pigeons. Oh. Oh, I want to strangle those. <laughs> I want to strangle those creatures. A mole? No, again, moles are still fluffy, even if they're blind. Chinese bird spider. Again, I I'm gonna go with wood pigeon. Wood pigeon, but why? <gasps> oh my god, you missed my rant from a couple streams ago. I went on such a big rant about like pi like birds and which birds are good birds and which birds are shit birds. <laughs> And I've, I, uttered, I utterly despise wood pigeons because they're so clunky, they're so dumb. And the, oh, the, they poop, they poop so much, so much shit everywhere. And they just, they're just dumb. They're just flying bricks. They, they, they're like bricks with wings. And I don't get how they get to survive. I, I prefer my little turtle doves. Naked mini horse. They just kill her grandpa. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's my tragic backstory. See, I once had, I, well, I once cared for the pigeons all equally. All, all pigeons were equal to me. But then the dreaded wood pigeon. Oh, I still remember the day. It was so painful. You see. Uh, <laughs> Will evil you stream? What is the opposite of Tuki? Opposite of Tuki, okay. Tuki is chill. Tuki is exploring. Um. Uh, what is like hyperactive? Or like what's what's very overly stimulating, maybe? Or like non creative, non exploring. No, Amori is like Amori is still like co cool story, cool cool graphic okay, so, so like shitty graphics. Uh, actually, Evil You will stream Dutch exclusive game. <laughs> I sadly don't have any. Oh fuck! I sh I need to get. I, I should get Freddy Fish, Dutch Freddy Fish. Mm. Garden of Bam Bam. <laughs> Why is the dude in the song saying Tuki Fever? <laughs> It does kind of sound like that, yeah. Call of Duty, Super Hexagon. I've not heard of that. Evil U stream Dwarf Fortress. Oh god, don't remind me of Dwarf Fortress. I've seen that shit. Cause uh, again, like uh, my ex-boyfriend uh, played Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I'm just like, how can you enjoy this? How do you enjoy this sort of shit? I don't get it. If you just like creativity, then anything from EA will do. Yeah, true. Tuki fever. Evil you, let's play FNAF. Oh god, no, not FNAF. I've never played any of the FNAF games because I'm like, no, I don't like jump scares. I like it, but I never recommend anyone to play that. Yeah, I would think like for Dwarf Fortress, like, it's a very specific niche that you have to be into. And I'm just like, because I, I think I've seen it before, like, without any sort of like, any texture pack or whatever. And I'm like, the fuck are you looking at? The fuck is this? Oh, this is supposed to be grass. Oh, this is a house. Oh, this is a person. I'm like, that's a symbol. That's 
that's a that's a little a little yeah but it's procedurally generated and everything is like unique and blah 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 I'm like mm, yeah but it looks like ass No FNAF, it's FNAF. FNAF. Oh, Friday Night Funkin'. Oh, that one. Security breach. Oh god, no. Uh, my, a bunch of my real life friends recently were like, Oh, hey, shall we play uh, SCP Security Breach uh, together and uh, have some fun? I'm like, ah, I'll skip, thanks. The only thing interesting about Dwarf is how ridiculously convoluted and deep the mechanics are. Yeah. I want you to listen. Okay, well wait, what do I need to listen to? Please explain. Alright, okay. What, what's up? Yeah, again, no, no horror games for me. I'm, I'm baby. I'm scared, baby. I don't like when people call Tuki weird core. It's annoying. Ugh. People always be ha making up people, people and their aesthetics. Again, if people want want to label it as a weird as weird core, whatever. I'm just like, more people discover Tuki, the better. Like, I don't want to hold any sort of, like, elitism over it. Like, I found Tuki first. I have been playing Tuki since 2014. That makes me an OG Tuki fan. And you're the fake fans. Like, mm -mm, nah. Just let people enjoy Tuki if they want to enjoy Tuki. If they only want to enjoy Tuki for the, the background music, then that's also cool. Would you be interested in uh, the horror game known as Bell and Want Shut? Shut up. Shut the fuck! Okay, let's uh, let's play the Dark Descent. Oh, like Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Oh God. Oh jeez. I played hours of for Dwarf Fortune. I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. Hmm. But I love the stories people tell of the game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because again, like, isn't it that like the events can be so like it's super fucking random and it's just completely unique to every single game. Essentially, what can happen. Again, that, that stuff is cool, but yeah. Let's play Yik. No, no. No. Uh, I've already watched so many video essays about the fucking game. No, I will not. You see, I am actually God. I was right all along. I'm a shitty person, but I was right. A Hat in Time is an amazing game. I still- I, I haven't played A Hat in Time. I just know about, like, the hat kid and, like... Get him down on the floor, get him on midnight low, get him on the floor, no 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 That. Get him down on the floor, do Dancing is what I do, dancing little thing of you. Dun 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 low, I know I know my memes. Nights into dreams is uh, is Balan Wonderland. Uh, if uh, it didn't completely suck. Oh, cool. You played Balan Wonder. No, shut, shut up. It's somewhat weird for me to remember ahead in time as an indie game because of how big it got. Fair, fair, fair. I'm playing GTA 5. Eh. I think it's like mostly like a sandbox game, but if I want to play a sandbox game, I'll play Minecraft. Have you played the Kingdom Hearts series? Oh boy, you don't want to know my history with the Kingdom Hearts series. Oh. <laughs> Teenage Yunari was very big into Kingdom Hearts. Not per se for the gameplay or the games, but uh, 
Anybody here familiar with the term Fujoshi? <laughs> oh, I will keep it at that. I will not explain. I will not explain. I can re recommend it. Uh, really had a lot of fun with the game. Oh, nice. I might put it on my wish list and see if, like, maybe if, if some point if it comes, like, goes on sale. Oh my god, Yui Nori, no! <laughs> yes! Yes! It was the 2010s and I was a teenager, so what do you expect? <laughs> GTA should be renamed Crimecraft. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Oh, you already know. <laughs> yeah, I know what that means. Hey. Oh, you love them dark, edgy boys. I mean, hey, lo lots of shipping potential. You know, a lot, of, lots of variety with the shipping. You know. Who did did you ship in Kingdom Hearts? Okay, who did I ship together? I think I was like a, a Riku, a Riku Exora, uh, like shipper. Um, I think uh, Demix and Axel, but that was mostly because of like these drama skits that this one like YouTube channel was doing at the time that I thought we were like, oh my god, this is so, this is the fanfic come to life, holy fuck, this is so cute, blah blah blah. Um, um, who were also together? I think it was like Sykes and like Xemnas were also shipped together often, but also Zigbar and Sykes. Um, Marluxia was shipped with, oh god, what's the dude, the blonde dude with the facial hair. La la, no, that's not with an L. I forgot, the one with the cards. There was a lot, either way, there was a lot of shipping going on. Oh yeah, and of course, also like uh, uh, like uh, rocks as an axle, <laughs> of course. The spiny hair boys give you brain worms. <laughs> yes. Oh, Rico and Sora, of course. Yes, yes. You do not understand the the teenage girl brain. Luxord? Okay, yeah, that was him. Luxord. Luxord and uh, Marluxia were, like, together. New here, uh, first time watching your streams. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you stumble in into a very funny segment. <laughs> oh, we're talking about my uh, Fujoshi phase. And I shall not- I shall not explain what that terminology means. It's up for- up for grabs on up to interpretation. Thanks for the answers, you, and uh, no worries. Uh, shipping was common in the early 10s. Yeah, again, like, so many fucking fanfics. I mean, I know, like, fanfics are still big nowadays, but holy fuck. Quizilla? You guys remember Quizilla? Holy fuck, there were so many, like, quizzes. Like, who are you? Who, who, who would be your best friend in Kingdom Hearts? Who would... Oh. <laughs> were you into Sasuke as well as a teen? I never got into, like, Naruto or whatever, so I never really gave a shit about any of those characters. So, no, I was not into Sasuke. I watched your uh, video yesterday and your uh, anime figures and noticed you uh, like Toho. Yeah, I'm big into Toho. Lots of Toho music on my streams as well. Uh, so and Riku kind of potential alongside Vanitas, Namine, uh, Roxas, Shion, uh, Roxas, Axel. See, leave it up to the fucking fans to be like, oh, but these two characters, they actually had one interaction here, which totally means that they're gay for each other. You don't understand. We see this. Me when you're in on, uh, on uh, anime characters I like. You mean like Yuri on ice or? Wait, 
But yeah, again, like... Just any 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 series that had like male characters, me uh, the, in the 2010s, it's not safe. I sh I will look up the fanfics. For some reason, it's always men that get shipped, not the women. It's 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 a I, I I don't know. I'm sure there's reasoning behind it, but it's always just like teenage girls go wild for just gay guys, I guess. You know, you could become a VTuber. Oh god, no, no. I'm just, I'm just do casual stream. I, I, I stick to casual streams where I, uh, I, I play Tuki and I talk about uh, uh, the <laughs> my past. Oh hey, there's someone here. Hello. I hope no one finds my Luigi X Shadow fanfiction I wrote when I was 12. I'm sure it's somewhere on Wattpad. <laughs> oh god. Again, I, I luckily- I never wrote any fanfiction, but I, I read so much. And also read so many, like, Gujinshis and shit. Oh god. I just like reading Gujinshi about my favorite animes. I see. Hey, you, have you ever met uh, Jumri? Yes, I have. I've uh, encountered Jumri uh, a fair couple times. She's, uh, I think she's also occasionally been like in YouTube chat. Wattpad is a no man's land. I literally don't think there's any men there. I don't know if Wattpad was around when I got into like shipping and stuff, or if that platform hadn't launched yet, I don't know. I remember Quizilla was like the go-to place for like fanfics. Wait, so Evil Yunari wouldn't have shipped in 2010s? No, I, I guess not. She she wouldn't have had a Fujoshi phase. Wait, Jumri is a girl? I thought you were, uh, were a dude. Uh, sorry, Jumri. I, I also made that mistake initially, but I'm pretty sure uh, she's a girl, yeah. You were recruited by Holland. Do you think you'd have good chemistry with people like Mori Kalio? I don't really watch any of the the the, the VTubers really. I just know like uh, isn't like uh, Mori like like uh, is, isn't Kali like more like tomboyish or whatever? I don't know. Again, I don't know their exact personalities. I'm just like yes, cool designs. I just call everyone, uh, I don't know the pronouns of ne gender neutral. Yeah, I also try to stick to that, especially like on Tuki, because you, you can just be like, ah, yes, your, your Uratsuki character looks surprisingly feminine. Your Uratsuki character looks surprisingly masculine. Unless everybody literally be walking around with the boy effect in their car. <laughs> Could Reimu defeat Yukari in a fight? Maybe. Maybe if she tried hard enough, but... Yukari got them portals, so, hmm. Speaking of fanfics, I remember watching those comic dubs back when I was 11. Does anyone remember them? <gasps> yes! See, I was around for the time when Creepypasta came to rise. I remember when Creepypasta became, like, the, the big thing for the very first time back in 2010, 2011. That's when that shit started, like, exploding. You had to be there. Oh my god, the fucking comics that were drawn. The crossovers. I don't know what the, the cast is called, but you had like Slenderman and Jeff the Killer and Masked Boy and Smile Dog and all of them were like characters that interacted with each other and they lived like in the same house and people made like comic about it. it was Oh, I was amazing. <laughs> amazing shit. The Jeff the Killer image makes me uncomfortable. Eh, the Jeff the Killer image is fine. The one that kind of still freaks me out a little bit is just like the, the smile dog image. Like the, the one with like the, the red filter. Not not the, the not just the husky that's smiling, but the one with like the, the realistic teeth and shit. That one's a little bit off-putting. Here in Tuki, we're all Uro. We are all Uros.
God, I remember when creepypasta were blowing up. I feel so old. Yeah, same. I remember like the OG, like the uh, like Tales doll creepypasta and shit was like super big also back in the day. And also Ben Drowned. Oh, I remember finding Ben Drowned so fucking spooky because that was like the first the first actual like creepypasta to have footage of like like see this is actually and that was also like back when like the whole trope of like ooh cursed game like wasn't like overplayed to shit yet so everybody was just freaked the fuck out. Good times, good times. Eyeless Jack. I've seen like the Eyeless Jack character. I don't think I've ever heard the creepy pasta. Have you ever watched Overly Sarcastic Productions channel? Oh, I think I have. Yeah, I don't think they do like a lot of commentary on like cartoons or whatever. I probably have. Yeah. What about the Mario victim image? I don't really like that one. Which which one? Oh, oh, do you guys, do people here, do people here remember, um, Pokemon Creepy Black? I'm pretty sure this was before, I don't know if this was before Pokemon Black, like the official Black came out, or if this was after, but you guys remember Pokemon Creepy Black? And also Pokemon Lost Silver, Th those were, those were the times. And also, um, oh, what was it called? Pokemon Bro Brother, like B-V-R-V. Or something which was like some sort of like pokey pokey channel like creepy pasta oh geez those were classics creepy black great name again it's a very infamous like uh pokemon creepy pasta from back in the day i remember the dot exe clone game see the thing is like exe creepy pastas only really started happening in what, like 2013? 2014? I don't know. Either way, like it's it started happening like past most of like my creepypasta phase. Also, I can't take the Lost Silver series because it's so melodramatic. No, I, I thought it was creepy as shit, but then again, I was like <laughs> I was like teenager, so. Same with Rake, Sonic on Exe, Tails on Hero, Brian, man, those uh, ones scared me. Oh yeah, true. True. Guys, you're not bleeding from, uh, with high, hyper-realistic blood. Oh yeah. Squidward Suicide. Suicide Mouse. Uh, which one, uh... Oh yeah, Dead Bart was also another one. So many, so many ones. Again, like the the Russian sleep experiment was also very popular then. Ah, scary you. Oh no. I now have hyper realistic eyes. Now look into my eyes and give me all your money. <laughs> I remember Hero Brian. Yeah, I, I remember. Hi, you, how are you doing? Suicide. <laughs> uh, people always enter the, the streams at the most interesting of times. Um, yes, we were talking about like creepy pastas because we were. I'm reminiscing about my past and like how I was around for like the, the rise of creepy pasta back in like early 2010s and just listing some. Some titles that I recall, like, so you had Suicide Mouse, you had Squidward Suicide, Dead Bards, and there's probably more that I'm forgetting from media properties. Oh yeah, Lavender Town, of course, yes, yes. When I was 10, I was so scared of the FNAF cast, I uh, remember I couldn't sleep in days because of that for a while. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. Like, if you're 10 years old and then the FNAF characters, like, yeah, they're, they're kind of spooky. Did anyone ever believe uh, creepypasta were real ones? 
Gonna even listen to the Tales of Song of Fear summoning him. Oh yeah, no, don't worry, I also had some <laughs> I also had similar fears. Only truth about uh, remembering cupcakes from Rainbow Factory. No! Oh god, no. I remember before. I remember like reading those before they got like animations on YouTube. Or like they were either or they were like narrated versions of those stories. Oh, it freaked me the fuck out so much. But I also thought it was, oh my god, that's so fucking cool. There aren't many good written pa uh, pastas anymore. There are well written pastas, but like, yeah, there's a lot of junk and a lot of like cliches and whatever. And I still occasionally listen to just like creepypasta channel uh, content. If I'm just like, yeah, I just want to listen to something. And sometimes it's a shitty, shitty story. Sogo is actually a creepypasta fun fact. I mean, uh, I mean, there's literally a creepypasta character. Yeah, but like the Zolgo, like Zolgo text was more like, oh, he's like this imperceivable, omnipotent being of pure, I guess, like evil or whatever that distorts everything. Because I, I just mostly just remember the Zolgo text. I don't, I don't think I've seen Zolgo text inside of Tuki. I need to do the dishes. Good night, you. Bye bye. Have some nice pasta. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck with the dishes. How can I cope with the fact that creepy pasta for the new generation is analog horror right now? I mean, the analog horror is still pretty good if you just get into the correct stuff, like the, the right stuff. Again, I'm just glad like younger generations also have some sort of like creepypasta variant, like spooky stories. That's not just the recycling of what we had back in the day. New gen creepypasta kind of suck as uh, they aren't that scary. Again, you do have to like look through the same eyes that you looked at creepypastas for the first time. Because even if things seem like cl cliche and you've heard them before, like this is bad. Like kids who have not never been exposed to any of things like that, they're probably gonna be pretty freaked out. Poppy playtime kind of trash compared to. Uh, FNAF. Yeah, in terms of like lore and shit, then yeah. Weren't they always not scary? Yeah, again, like if you just look back at like creepypastas like nowadays, go look look at the quality of things like oh Jeff the Killer, that's such a masterpiece. <laughs> You ever fucking read Jeff the Killer again? Like the creepypasta? And realized, wow, this is actually fucking trash. <laughs> Yet people just clung to it, so I don't think kids really care much about the quality of whatever it is, as long as they get spooked. to this creepy story about a guy named David Lang that disappeared in front of everyone. The grass where he disappeared turned yellow and died. Oh, what the hell? That spooked me. Yeah, that's a very, that's pretty spooky.
What interests me is the Jeff the Killer Lost Media, finding the origin where the image comes from. Oh yeah, no, I've, I've kept up with like uh, people who cover the search and whatever, where it's like... People have dug so fucking deep and... Uh, what was it like? I think 2002 or something or like early 2000s on some like Japanese image board is like where... A bunch of like old pictures can be traced to, but like it's very difficult to like recover a bunch of those things and like uh, a lot of the claims of like oh this is this is the original image have like been debunked and whatever so yeah interesting interesting Oldest, least edited photo of Jeff the Killer, scarier than the more popular photo. Again, I don't know. Again, I don't think they've found like the original image yet. All I know is like there's this one photo of this like lady or whatever that they they think like that the that the photo is based on. Wasn't that confirmed to be fake, the story about the girl? Yeah, because there's only, like this one story with, like, there's this one picture with, like, this girl who has, like, a very similar, like, uh, shade of, like, uh, face or whatever, and, like, the teeth and the eyes or whatever, but, like, it's altered and... I don't know the exact story attached to it, but... It's possible that there is no original image anymore. I mean, it probably does exist, it's probably just... I don't know if anybody still has it on any any computer, any database, anywhere. Again, I'm 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 not gonna believe any stories quite yet if we haven't really like found the actual like original image yet. Probably lost media since this shit happened in 2001, 2002. Yeah, probably, unfortunately. If an image isn't stored on anything at all, does it really exist? If a bunny shits in the forest and nobody's around to witness it, does the bunny actually exist? But yeah, again, I, I doubt it's gonna be recovered unless someone somehow decided to make a, a fucking random backup of that particular image back in those days. And still has access to a fucking hard drive now, like, these days. Shit forced to wipe, no. If a leaper is too fast to be photographed at night, did she really appear in the middle of the city? Mm -hmm. Fact about Tuki, no one uh, really knows who made the marginal effect. If you look at back at the death log when the effect was a uh, added, one uh, oh eleven one eleven, death name is literally off or unknown. Oh, maybe they just really didn't want to be known. Because again, like back in the day, like 
Tuki was developed by like a bunch of like uh, like uh, two chan like people. Uh, that's why like a bunch of like the earlier like developers have like just numbers for names because they were based on their uh, their uh, two chan uh, usernames or well like number identification things. So maybe it's just one of those people, but was like, yeah, I'm not gonna identify myself, so I'm not gonna list anything. What's Tuki? Oh, uh, we are currently in Tuki, the, the game that you currently see on screen. Uh, that's called Yume Tuki. It's a successor to Yume Nikki, well, a fan made sequel. So, if you're familiar with uh, Yume Tuki, Tumi <laughs> Tuki is a mental disorder. No! It's art. Tuki is art. Oh, that, yeah. Again, like, Yume Tuki is basically just like. The sequel, essentially, to Yumi Nikki, except it's way better. <laughs> and we're currently hanging out in one of the dream worlds. I played Yume Nikki for one hour and it's just confused. I don't know what to do. Uh, basically, uh, in Yume Nikki, what you do is just explore. You explore and you try and find items, uh, and these are called effects. And I think in the original Nikki, I think there's 12 effects. I forgot, like 12, 13, 14, 15, something like that. And once you have collected them all, you can unlock the ending, and then you essentially beat the game. But yeah, but the, the main objective is just to explore dream worlds, uh, find portals to other dream worlds within dream worlds, and just look, look at pretty shit. Ever had Tuki dreams? No, I've never had a Tuki dream, and it bums me out so much. I'm like, bitch, I, I. I love Tuki to death. Please, give me a Tuki dream, please. But yeah, again, like, uh, Yume Nikki and Yume Tuki is not really for everyone. Like, if you're not into, like, if, if you can't handle a game that doesn't have any story, that doesn't have any dialogue, that doesn't have any like, battle combat things or whatever, then yeah, Tuki and Nikki are just not gonna be your type of game. Because it's really just like an like walking simulator, essentially a dream simulator. I had Minecraft dreams once. Oh jeez. Oh god, I had a Tuki dream that was awful. I was chased by, by something. Ooh, Witch Chaser. It better be the Shadow Blob beneath. Did your dreams ever get past your graduation or are you still stuck in uni? My my brain flips back and forth. Sometimes it's like dreams about like uh, high school, then it's university, and then other times like it's not set in school. Again, like not all my dreams are set in school, thank fuck. Uh sometimes just me and my friend again like in recent times I've had a lot of fucking dreams where my, my real life friend group constantly appears. Who knows, maybe this is because of the Europa Park trip having had such, like, an impact on me. And that's my, my- my brain is now yes. All your dreams? Your friends are involved, okay? And you're all going to a place. Somewhere. I had a Suki dream where a VR version exists and, and everyone was on it. Uh, it ended with a whole game experience, a nuclear war, and we fighting a giant realistic green head in the ocean. Oh Jesus. I have had VR chat dreams though. <laughs> I have had VR chat being featured in my dream where it was like I literally like was somewhere and I could pull up the menu 
of like the Archer, like, oh fuck, wait, let me turn down the, the world world volume for a bit. I think Creepypasta Scary Go read some Lovecraft. Uh, I mean, there's also some good SCP stuff out there. Like if you did want like a problem, like if you want like a creepypasta series, then SCP is also interesting to, to get into. I was outside my house and a dark shadow appeared and started to chase me and make uh, his arms shaped like axis. I tripped and just screamed. Oh shit, that sounds scary, yeah. Did you ever dream people that have passed or not in your life anymore but are still really happy uh, to dream them? I dreamt about my grandparents recently. Oh, that's so nice. I don't really dream about like deceased people, but I have dreamt about like uh, my deceased bunnies uh, before and they, they occasionally do still appear in my dreams. I'm like, oh yay, hello Fudge, hello Bailey, hello. I kinda wish I got Yuma Nikki or Yuma Tuki style dreams. Maybe not too heavy on the more messed up part with the grand scale of exploring. Yeah, that, that would be really cool. I dreamt about Toho characters. Oh, I'm jealous. I wish I could dream about Toho. That'd be so cool. I fucking oh, I wish. I wish I could dream about Nanachi. Please, let me have let me have a Nanachi themed dream. Let me let me hug Nanachi. She's so fluffy and she's a bunny. I wanna be her friend. Yeah, I'm just like, Brain, come on, please. One Nanachi themed dream, please. I have so many figures of her. I love her so much. <laughs> She's such a good character. Eh, I wanna give her a hug. Again, I also I've also had dreams about like other YouTubers. <laughs> I've dreamt about YouTubers before. I'm like, oh my god, I watch your videos. They're so cool. <laughs> uh, but they're they're quite rare. They're rare. But it's always funny. Like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure like the 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 running theme is always like when I meet a, a YouTuber, I'm like, oh my god, you should totally play Tuki. It's such a good game. <laughs> The only Tuki dream I remember was this one where Uru was in this maze and it was larger than the oblique hell in Amoru Rice. It was dark green and black but it was like a forest like- ah. Oh. I was confusing Nanachi with Mitty for a second. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, if, if Mitty is also in the dream, I also don't mind. But yeah, again, still- Nan poor Nanachi, I also still feel bad for Nanachi. It's literally me, but with collective unconsciousness. Oh, dang. I once had a dream where my room had a printer and it kept printing paper. Uh, printing paper. That was the whole dream. I mean, the, the... See, dreams can just vary so fucking much. It can be like the most mundane shit or like the most wacky, wacky stuff. Do you guys note your dreams? Because I uh, had a time where I dreamt about my, my online friends. Aww. I do, like, uh, I, I keep track of my uh, dreams, or at least I try my best. Like, if I can remember a dream, I try my best to take down notes on my phone right as I wake up. And then at a later point in time, uh, I'll read those notes and I'll, I'll formulate it into, like, a, a more proper, like, story. Have you ever dreamt about some activity with you, uh, that you've never done before but eventually end up doing? I suppose? I had a dream where I was in Danganronpa and I was executed. No! A while back I had an, an, uh, an Owl House themed dream. Because I had watched Owl House fairly recently. My dream turns into shonen anime. Oh, jeez. 
I had a dream where the earth doubled in size and I was, uh, was inclined, so I feel like uh, you were on a slope constantly. I remember everyone on YouTube was talking about it. Oh, dang. I got crushed by a crowd. Oh, shit. Anyone have dreams like old friends you uh, that you have uh, haven't seen in months or years? For me, like in my dreams, sometimes just random folk from like either like high school or even primary school that I have not seen in like God knows how long that I do not have any sort of bond with or anything. They just randomly pop up. I'm just I think my my brain is like, yep, we need some NPCs. So uh, we're gonna pull these people from your memory and we're just gonna use them as NPCs. Yeah, okay. I hate myself so much because I stopped taking entries in my diary in the past month. Don't worry, you can you can start again. Again, sometimes there's also just periods where you just can't remember like dreams all that well. I also have that happen. Like I haven't no noted down a dreams in quite a couple days. Even though like I know for example this morning I remember that I had a dream. I just couldn't recall it. The IRL diary. Oh, you mean like just general like diary entries. Ah, I mean, don't force yourself to like write in your diary. If you don't feel any need to, then don't do it. Again, you know, I personally just enjoy like writing down some stuff in there. Even though like I do sometimes procrastinate where I'm like, oh, I still want to write about this. I'll do that tomorrow because I don't have time today. Once dreamt I uh, have saved uh, Shogun's daughter. Everyone in my dreams uh, I've never met. Eh, you probably have met those people because, again, I, I, I read somewhere that your brain is literally incapable of coming up with... Oh, bling 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 bling. Hello, what's the bling bling bling? Okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh... What was I saying? Yes, uh, your, your brain is like incapable of crafting new faces out of nowhere. Like the, the, the... If there's people in your dream that you don't recognize, they might just be faces that you might have spotted on the street maybe once before. And somehow, somewhere, your brain just fucking re like saves that in the, the crevices of your skull. And then it's like, yes, we need a random person for this uh, dream scenario. Okay, we're gonna use this. This face. Okay, different song. I know Frina was attached too much, but stopped talking for a while because of drama and stuff. That uh, once I dreamt of that friend calling me and saying I'm sorry, man, I was so naive back then. Aww. I don't remember much of my uh, dreams anymore, I for forget them too quickly, but I have uh, some dreams where the only thing I remember myself is like, Dunny, whatever you do, don't uh, forget about the stream, which, uh, oops, don't worry, I, I, I have very similar things, because I can't recall saying myself, like, okay, I just had a dream, what was it about? And then I'm like, fuck. But that's because, like, usually you can only properly remember if you had the dream right before you woke up. And it's super tempting to just be like, oh, well, I won't be able to remember this anyway. Just gonna go back to sleep. Because, like, then you're gonna forget. But, like, no, you have to force yourself, like, okay, no quick, quick, phone, phone, okay. Uh, 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 okay, I was here, this location, okay, and then hap what happened? Oh, these people were here, and, uh, and then what? And then, oh, there was also something with uh, the, the, this person. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, this and this happened. And then you can, like, sort of craft. The, the, the narrative and like sometimes you can also just remember bits and pieces where you have like one tiny scenario that you remember like 
this happened and then something else happened that I do not remember, but then suddenly I was in this situation and then this and this happened. Again, I personally never know if those are separate dreams then or, or if that's one and the same dream and I just forget a chunk of it, but... Do anime characters count? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anime char characters count. Just fictional characters also count. Just any sort of, like, face. Any sort of, like, person, like, that you've seen before, like, or, like, can show up, even if they're fictional. I keep having dreams of tornadoes destroying my house. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't really sound like nice dreams. This week I had a small jump scare because one of my lab assistants noticed something weird in my assignment. I thought I was in trouble. Was rushed to uh, I had rushed the assignment and there was an issue I hadn't resolved. I hope no one had noticed. Oh, I see. Hey, you want to do expedition once time? No, I'm about to go to bed. It's so fucking late here. Ugh, I'm tired. I try to remember my dreams like that, but usually the moment I stand up from uh, bed, everything fades. I could theoretically stay in bed all day, but uh, it's probably not good. See, here's the thing. Have your phone near you like literally like you can grab it when you're still in bed and like basically the moment you open your eyes and you are awake you grab your phone you open a note and you start typing you, you can't give yourself the luxury to even get out of bed or whatever because indeed by that time like you will have forgotten more writing is so boring <laughs> try your best to just be like type out sentences usually what's gonna happen is you're gonna type like like, half sentences with a bunch of fucking gibberish in it because you misspell a lot, but you can't- You can't take the- the- the, the effort to be all, like, auto-correcting yourself. It's literally just like, okay, this, 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 this. And sometimes it results in like, okay, I have no fucking clue what this word is supposed to say, but... I do want to try that, but I've been bad about like again. Like it's literally about like just type down the words. It doesn't matter if it's misspelled to shit or whatever. You can fix that later, as long as it's recognizable as a word for your like I guess like later day self to recognize. We're talking about making a dream diary while playing Tuki. <gasps> yes, I mean this is usually. Uh uh, common topic we, we go to when playing Tuki. Like, yo, so guys, dreams? Dreams are funny. Yeah, I'm sleepy. Uh. <gasps> oh, I'm being, oh, no, I'm being stolen from help. Oh jeez, we're almost four hours in. Yeah, I'm starting to get really fucking tired. Uh, and I want to go to bed. And I really have to go to the toilet, so... I should focus more on uh, writing them. Again, it's it's it doesn't matter if it's like just weirdly written. You don't even have to pay attention to like, oh, is the flow of what I write correctly? Like, nah, it's literally just like this happened, then this happened, then this person said this. And I felt really weird, and I, I, I thought this. Uh, and then this, and then this, and then uh, I don't remember, and then like question mark, question mark, and then this happened. Uh, 7.27 there, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, half an hour past midnight over here. Go me, 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 me. Go me, 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 honk shoo, honk shoo. No EP, no I got an extra tomorrow. You get EP, get sleepy, EP sleepy. You need you need energy for exam. Did you update your YouTube profile pic? Yeah, I finally drew some new art. I still have to update my banner, but yeah. Uh, if you want to see the full art, I, I posted it on uh, my Twitter. I love how Mimi Mimi have become a meme. I mean, I thought that was like a meme for a while because it's like from the sound effect of like honk shoo, honk shoo, honk me.
Mimi is Portuguese for sleep, if I recall correctly. I don't know. Big pockets for a dollar. No, me stole it from. Mimi is uh, Spanish for sleep. Dormir, Mimi. Ah. The only way of socialism in the past few weeks, uh, ever since I practically dropped out of college, so I just. I'm being stolen from, I'm being robbed! Robbed in plain. Well, it's not daylight, but. Robbed in plain nighttime. N nightlight. One of my dreams, I dreamt there was a person who uh, could control giant spires. It's something I have enormous fear of, and she wanted to be uh, friends, and it was awkward. Oh, Jesus. I mean, hey, at least you could be like, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be your friend, but then. Can you uh, maybe send the spiders away? Or can you make the spider friendly? Tired. Yeah, anyway. Probably should go to bed. I'm very tired. Uh, again, I promise I will keep in mind I will make I will make events for April Fools. Pay attention. So I will do April Fools live stream. I don't know what to do yet. I don't know if people want me to do maybe something special for like April Fools. I don't know what though. Reacting to funny YouTube videos but only commentating in Dutch. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know yet. Cause Tuki stream just seems so like plain. Mm, don't know yet. But I do want to do something fun. Stream in French accent. No no no, like I've already decided for April Fools, I wanna do a Dutch only stream. I'm gonna be speaking Dutch. And fuck anybody that like is trying to get me to speak English, because I will not. Like, people can talk to me in English, but I will respond in Dutch. Either that's gonna go horribly wrong, or it's gonna be very funny, and... I just don't know what to do yet, in terms of like the events, like what the actual thing I'll to do in stream. Play, cre play Creepypasta. I will be narrating Creepypasta in Dutch. <laughs> On the fly translation Creepypasta. Full Dutch, uh, full stream on Dutch, please. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta learn Dutch then, yep. Oh wait, did it actually do it? Like, I forgot to check if I turned on, like, auto subtitles. Play Among Us in full Dutch accent, oh my fucking god. The uh, subtitles are still not working. Bitch, I open. What the fuck? I, I turned it on. Bitch. Do I have to do it separately for every stream? What the fuck? What the fuck? Because I turned it on, like, after last stream. Because I, I saw the option and I turned it on, but... I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> yeah again please um if people have suggestions for activities to do during like the dutch april fools stream uh please go to my discord and put it in suggestions so i can read because i don't know yet what to do respond to everything you uh, use as an urdu oh my fucking god Quick question, what kind of Dutch accent do you have? Uh, I'm from the south, so uh, I have a Brabant uh, accent. North Belgium.
I'm actually thinking of learning uh, Southern Dutch as a prank, oh my god. What, y'all accent? I can say it, but like... Are you tired? Yes, I'm very tired. I will talk in Italian if I'm chat- oh my god. We're gonna have multi-language chats. Oh my god, it's gonna be such a pain. Oh god, I have to end the stream before I hit the four hour mark. No, I do not want to hit the four hour mark. Anyway. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, if you have suggestions for April Fool stream, please drop them in my Discord server su uh, suggestion section, please. That would be very appreciated. Uh, and I hopefully see you guys again in the next stream. I really have to go to the toilet now and I'm very, very tired. I want to go to bed. But yeah, thank you all very much for joining and hope to see you guys again in the next stream. So, yes. Bye!